Okay, what we're going to get into. I think the only thing on the agenda today is Gear Dungeon, which has popped up. We can get into some of the reward stuff later. I probably will prioritize some of the later stuff here. Um, it doesn't look like the currency runs out, so you can maybe save it for another iteration. I think it'll be okay. I'm not sure how, but they cancelled Tales of the Smith and some of us lost millions of gold. I mean, you would have got the rewards there though, right? I, I, I would have got some rewards there. I don't know if I... I think I claimed them. I, I, I maxed out two or three pieces. Um, welcome to my stream, by the way. Um, I maxed out... Randomly, I got three rings. I don't know how. Rings are really rare. I got three ancient rings. I got... Um, I got this invigoration one. I've got, I've got one of these two. Uh, I think it was this one. And then I got this curse ring. Uh, rings are really rare for me. Um, out of all the pieces I've got, like if I if I hide unhide equipped, I, I have the least rings versus the other pieces. Like like twice as much when it comes to um, when it comes to amulets, and pretty much the same for bangles. Like one and a half to twice as much rings seem the rarest. So I got three rings at the weekend. I don't know how that happened, but yeah, I I, I didn't see that actually. I'm not sure what they're gonna do there. I think I claim the rewards. Um. They've actually re they've they fully removed it from it from here as well. That's really odd. Have they said anything why that why they did that? I get a few of them, but I can't claim three star fusion champ. I didn't collect because I didn't think I had to. I was halfway through. I mean, I don't know if I did. I I just maxed out those rings, and then I was like, I was gearing up to do this stream, so. I mean, they they have actually just fully removed it. It was on the it was obviously on the calendar. Um, done the other ones. That's bizarre. That's bizarre. They're gonna have to do something about that, obviously. Um, some people would have used a lot of gold. For me, gold is not as much of an issue. But I think if you're progressing, and you're not like near the end game, gold is a big problem. Um, like. I never gold farm, but I know some people will. I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have artifact material ready just running at the same time. Just to, uh, well, let's go to the max, probably minus, what, 200 energy? Just to have that in the background. Oh, no, I can't do that, can I? Oh, that, that actually kind of sucks, thinking about it. I, I, maybe I'll just get this out of the way first, <laughs> because this will be quick. Um, in other games, you can do background fighting while when you're doing um, like main fighting. It's a, it's a bit disappointing. This, this should only take like five ten minutes. Um, but yeah, that's really random. That's really random. It is actually completely gone as well. A free rare to apologize would be nice. Honestly, I think they should have done twenty rares in this event anyway. I wanted to come out of this event with a Shagar. Oh, her name isn't Shagar. It is something completely different. I knew someone called Shagar. Uh, what's her name? <laughs> damn it, damn it, damn it. Um, I've actually um, I actually max six, six starred her and I also awakened her with an awakening gem because I have quite a few excess because I wanted to test her out a little bit now oh, where is she where is she there she is what's her name Drago that's it that's it um, I tested her out a little bit and she's actually pretty good awakened one is pretty interesting and then I have I have a uh, awaken uh, sorry an artifact for her that I gave to her which was the nightmare serpent it was really good it was procking all the time she was healing pretty decently from it that's pretty much the main thing she was lacking was the heals um, and I think I should be able to do the last stage of nightmare faction trial with her next week when it comes up so but I, I agree I want I want another one because they give out 19 they give out 19. And uh, that's enough to get 4.75. <laughs> I, I want to get the fifth version because I want the copy of Drago to actually have in my collection, you know. I can't be the only one that actually wants the Epic as part of my collection. Oh, did, my, did it actually fail? 
it did fail. Oh, no, one failed. I don't, I don't even know what's going on right now. How did this fail? Probably no, no gear on him. Yeah, that'll be it. And that shall be it. That shall be it. I'll give her. Give it to him. And tests. So minus a few. Has, have they given any explanation for that? Let me just check um, Discord. Is anything popped up? I guess. I just speak into um, let me just check the official Discord. I'm guessing nothing's being said yet because, like. Did it just happen? Did it just happen? Like any, like, we are aware of the current issues. Mm. <laughs> Comment bugs report. I wonder if anyone's reported it. Uh, yeah, lots of people reported it. So this is at 10 a.m., so like an hour ago. Um, yeah, that's messed up. What makes it worse as well is the fact that... Uh, I don't know how they're going to fix that. It's going to be bizarre. It's going to be kind of bizarre. Well, hopefully it's not too much of a problem for you guys. Just randomly this remove an event that's the first time i've ever seen that happen and it's completely gone from the calendar too really really odd i didn't check the rewards so they might have messed up the rewards and they have to they have to restart it but um surely there's gonna be some compensation because of that like like people have said like you guys said in chat people have gonna spent gold already on this so yeah that is a that is an issue Okay, how long has this taken? A couple of minutes. We'll, we'll let that finish. Let that finish. What do you guys think about this weekend's banners? Is anyone going to be summoning on anything in particular? Okay, red dots are gone. It still says in a... Okay, it's just a gear dungeon. Okay. The... Uh, this banner looks very interesting to me. Um, two times, 15 times. And then obviously it's the same on here. And me and my brother had saved a lot of our legendary summons for this sort of moment. So I've got 15. So they're going to be 12% rates on drops of legendary summons. Hopefully I can get two. I would really like a hex, honestly. I'd really like a hex. A hex would be juicy. Um... We'll do some artifact stuff here. And how are you guys doing in the actual event? Have you managed to get all of the uh, the rare boy? What's his name? Grogren. I've got one maxed out and then two more. Maybe I did claim him from this. I'm not sure. I don't know where I should be at. I've got every single one from every single event so far. I've got seven. Because I've already got one of uh, Draeger. So let me just check the notice. Where is it? There we go. 
so I've done today is Tuesday is today Tuesday or today Wednesday no, today's Wednesday Taylor the Smith look Taylor the Smith just started this one here and they just cancelled this and then before this I had one two three four five six seven so I've got the seven outside of that tells of the Smith one two three four five six seven yeah so the four from events spiritual water brave conquest bait brave conquest jewel of champions awakening of heroes war in the sands mystery of artifacts i've got all these so i didn't get the one from tales of smith i didn't do too much i maxed three um pieces of gears so i don't know if that would have got me far enough um but we need that we need that <laughs> we do need that so hopefully they bring it back and hopefully like i say compensation they sort that out because that's a uh, that's a problem. I just I just half expect it to just pop up randomly. I wonder what the issue was for them to do that. So bizarre. Oh, lovely red dust. Red dust. Okay, we'll 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 stop this now. We'll end this. Let's see if I've got enough to do quick 10 pull on this i do uh good job i've got more than a 10 pull because i clicked one pull by accident there you go give me a lunacy visor i got a lot i'll take a wailing skull i think i think i've already maxed one i'm not sure i need lunacy visors though that's what i really really need okay well let's let's attempt this new thing let's attempt this new thing where is it uh raid dungeon recommended heroes tanks and a healer <laughs> does that change it does to more legendary ones I did more aoe damage okay it needs energy and keys I'm not sure how I feel about both you know one or the other one or the other it's recommending this six for some reason uh, these five should I say um, I did not put these in here. They're just like, hey, take these five. Um, but I probably will, actually. Thanks for recommending them. <laughs> I probably will. Um, should we go... These guys. Do we do we take a Dolores? I'm not really sure. I'm not, I'm not seeing much of this, if I'm honest. I'm not seeing much of this. Um, I think we need at least one, maybe two healers. We'll take her. <laughs> Why she's, I, I've never heard her voice. She's from Texas. <laughs> That's kind of strange. Um, okay, should we take... Should we take Hollow? Oh, no, actually, we'll take uh, Vortex because he'll get the bonus. I'm not sure how much of a difference that'll make. I'm not sure if he's geared. He is not geared. He is not geared. I like to put him in tanky gear. Actually, I think we'll put him in. I'm not sure how much attack speed he gets with this gear. Let me see how much attack speed he gets first. Not very good. We won't go with that. Tank speed is quite important. Rather important. 200 attack speed is not good enough, but we'll go with that. I don't think I know how much damage he's going to take. Who else should I take? Um, I think I need one more ground unit. I've seen very limited amounts, like I said. I need. I think I need one more, though. Someone who does damage as a ground unit. Do you think this guy would be good? As a ground unit, he's he's not too bad. He could be decent. stuff he's geared mm, I, 
think I, I think I need block. I'm not sure though. Squatish. Actually, wait, with our death. The only reason I take him is because he's getting the stat bonus. And also he does he does do damage. Just don't know if it's high enough. Okay, let's see. I've got no idea how good this is going to be. Um, I've got decent gear on some people. I think I've got the wrong gear on him. Let's go with main gear for him. There we go. Give me that 400% crit damage. And I'll give the other gear to him. Has anybody done this already? How do they fit in about this? Okay. Where did I come from first? From lower. Hmm. I think I need more heal reduction. Maybe Lysir has to come in on this, right? I'm not sure. Big boy Lysir. Damn it, is hitting big my numbers. I wonder if Kamet doesn't take any damage, I don't necessarily need to have a healer looking at him. I can have her looking to the right instead. Um. Do I have him looking up? And he can cover both. Maybe. I don't think there should be a problem on this stage, though. Like, he's getting absolutely melted. I can place one more person, apparently. Overdoing it on the healers, maybe. I'm not sure. Three healers is enough. <laughs> Don't need Vortex. I, I forget that um, this new one is a healer, to be honest. I'm not having to do ults. I'll do, I'll do his ult just for the sake of it, but I don't really think I'm having to do it. First one's straightforward. What does his ult do again? I know it does damage. Activates Realm of Curse. Okay. Let me just do his ult. Oh no. Okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Let's just do two times. This isn't too difficult. I just need to pop the ult of the other character a bit more often. Nope. Did I do that wrong? Yeah, I did that wrong.
need to read her skills, like the attacks she's doing, how random this is, whether I can put someone like up here. I might want to double tank it on both, but as well, I can't apparently. I can maybe. I also need to pop their alts a bit more often. Because they have Soulbound Arcana. Yeah, the first stage is just about actually doing alts at the right time. Welcome to the stream, guys. I hope you're having a good day. Maybe maybe the stunning tank would actually be better up the top because she can block for longer. She's a northerner, and I think she has a little bit of damage output. I might I might swap them around. You've obtained brand new currency, a lot of it as well, two hundreds. Is it just going to take me to the shop now? <laughs> this is where you can spend it. <laughs> I love it. Okay, yeah, I'm not going to spend anything too early. Uh, we're going to probably try and get as much as possible. Clearing the, the other gear stages unlocks other things that looks a bit more juicy. Look, it's, it's all flashing down here. It's all like rippling, so it looks good. Um, let me just switch one character out. We'll switch out Odd there for what's her name? I can't remember her name for her. Yeah, I think she's better for this. The cursed eye turns away. Oh, am I blind? There we go. And she'll get a buff now. Now she can block extra as well. She can block five, I think. Because her base block is four. Um, yeah, block four plus one. So that's better for sure. She hasn't got much attack speed though. Is what it is. Playing for rev myself. Good luck. Good luck. Or reeve. I always look at it like reverend. <laughs> but I'm probably wrong. Oh, she's starting to hit a little bit harder now. How well do I do against these? Yeah, still absolutely destroys and Kamet is geared pretty nicely. I probably should ult there with Kamet maybe. I don't know. Definitely ult here. Just get an ult out. So now he gets an extra 10% damage. Oh yeah, I was going to swap out Vortex. So it's not a problem right now. I'm not sure she's going to be able to do the later stages, but we shall see. I'm going to see, I'm going to see how much damage she does with this. It's quite a lot of stun control too. It's not terrible. She's got Silas as backup as well here. I 
I just need to alternate Silas and Artemis, I guess, for the time being. So now I'll be Silas. Yeah, she's, she's blocking a lot more, which is nice. Yeah, without doing Artemis' ult, I can't heal block. I think these ones in the top left-hand corner have, like, that heal. I'm not sure. I can't out-damage their, their... Look, they've got, they're really tanky already. And they're just self-healing constantly. I don't know how I did this about Artemis Lassier, maybe, I'm not sure. Hey, what's up, Breland? How's it going, man? Okay, we'll take out Vortex. And... We probably have to add in Lassier. I'm going to just risk having... Um, maybe there's flyers and stuff that come later. I don't know, maybe maybe Aatrox I can use. Because I need I need a little bit of burst damage when I do stuff. Because I, I think um, Silas isn't going to be as good later on. So we'll take in Lysir. And we don't care about his damage too much. Kind of need his Rage Regen up a little bit. Should I put him on Rage Regen gear? I could put him on the gear that I've got on my... Uh, if I've got really low attack Rage Regen gear on her. Um, I don't know how much I'm going to rely on him for damage. We'll see, I guess. We'll see. But he's going to be in the same position as Silas. And uh, he'll be doing heal reduction on the ones that Camlet's blown up. So far... Kemet hasn't needed any help, so it's not too much of a problem, but things will change. I haven't even had to pop a heal, really. Uh, no, I'll still look up. I don't know if they group above him or not. Okay, we're going to do the ult straight away. This is just to get... Oh no, so we should we take this serum? Maybe. We'll see. Okay. So the damage is fine. I can out damage the heal a little bit here. But Kama is struggling a little bit. But it's not a problem. It's not a problem. That 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 effect is annoying. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. The splatter. Okay, I haven't even used Dolores yet either. Um, well, what, I, maybe I want to just see. Oh no, I can't deploy any more other than that. So. Okay. Okay. One, they want to sneak through there. Yeah, one snuck through. So I'm going to have to actually start caring. I think if I had Hex, this would be a lot easier. Because he can be invisible. I'm not sure how much of a difference that will make, to be honest. But I'll do it this way, but still. I won't do his ultimate against these two because it's pointless. Unless I actually have to. Yeah, it should be alright. Oh, 
Let me count them. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I need to just kill one. And that should be okay. If I can just place him here. I don't know if I can. Oh, they got mad stats. Now they're just going to start healing up, right? I'm not sure how long the. Yeah. Hmm. He's going to go for the ones that are close, unfortunately. Somehow need more damage on the right hand side. Let's see if that uh no nah, it doesn't affect. So they still refund keys and energy, that's good. Uh, we don't need her. Mm. I could just go with two melees in that line. Hey, what's up, Bashal? Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Hope you have a good day, bro. Um, who else has heal reduction? Is it just Lysir and Artemis? No one else. I know it is. Uh, I know it is a pretty rare thing. Twin Fiend works well here. To do what? Oh, the defense down. Is it for his defense down? Let's give him some crit damage. Where would I place him? It's for his AoE. Yeah. And he better burst against that right side for sure. Like I, the, the ones I, the videos I saw, people weren't using a tank there. They were using like a damage dealer. Um, they were using like Valeria. I don't have Valeria. I don't really have any line damage. I don't have Zilla two. I don't have uh, arrogance. Nothing like that, unfortunately. The bottom's doing absolutely fine though, like, this is really easy. The top is a problem. Valkyra, I don't have Valkyra or a Rapture. I don't have any any line damage fighters my fighters the only legendary fight i have is salazar that's it and uh lust i have been very unfortunate with fighters 
I've been pretty fortunate with, you know, in other places, but very, very unfortunate with fighters. Unfortunately. Splat, splat, splat. Camera just destroys these even in close. Okay. And the burning, I'm not sure how many of them would be burning. I guess a lot of them. I don't know. Just pop this for a second. But I don't know if there's any like negative effects going on them. It's whether I can get his ult up again on the right side. I might have to just wait and see if I get lucky with like Zilla 2 or something at the weekend. I don't expect to be able to clear stage 6 without someone being able to defend right side to be honest. Uh, why are you attacking down here? I uh, lost it for me. Nice one. <laughs> nice one. Nice one. Like t he was attacking people out of his range. <laughs> Where was he? He was. He was here. <sighs> Come on. He was attacking people down here. Oh, you can't see my mouse cursor. He was attacking people in these like bottom three rows for some reason. I don't. I don't get. It. Fantastic. Fantastic meat. I can put someone like here. No. Doesn't do anywhere near enough damage. It's because there's shields. That's interesting.
I'm gonna try and time it. I don't know the animation though. I'm gonna try and leave it as late as possible. I'm gonna do it now. Hopefully he, hopefully he gets splattered while this is going on. Yeah, he did. Nice. Just about. I need better rage regen on uh, Optimus for sure. Do you have a reliable constant burn? Um, <laughs> the only one I can think of is... Is... Um, okay, drops. Forge. This is a tutorial or something. Flat attacks seems seems amazing. Actually, it's not too bad. I guess is this left side? That's actually not too bad for left side. For my first piece, it's not too bad. That's not, not crazy. Okay, it's left side, so it's good. I can show you my fighters, like. Um, fighters not been too lucky oh sorry I, I have apsan and cerberus as well but i don't think they're going to be too useful in here if only they did the rework on apsan that he does like massively desires and needs and <laughs> the only one i can think of is wrath maybe that's the only person i can think of Azoth compliments fiend a lot, but who would I have? Who would I not place? Because I'm placing everyone I can. Like I could, like the person I'm placing. Like this is the this is the, who I'm placing so far is these these ten. So I'd have to replace this character, which would be basically be someone who's defending the ground, and that's not Azoth, is it? Um. Like I could replace him with someone who could do a bit better in in the line. Um, if only had her her like distance that she could attack was further. Um, I guess those things do really crazy damage as well. Those enemies. We can we can test out we can test out him. Uh, we're not going to use him as a lord though. Oh no no no! Oh no! Does gluttony work? I don't know. <laughs> Your guess is as good as mine. I'm guessing I'm going to have to have Lunacy Visor here, but life still as well anyway. Let's see. Yeah, it could just instantly work right side now. Um, we'll find out. I didn't mean to do that, but it, we'll do it. Okay, so I can do two here. Interesting, at least. Oh, 
We'll try we'll try without Twin Fiend first. Jeez, they do so much damage. I don't think I don't think uh, Wrath will be able to tank them. No, the answer is no. Only one got through. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I think this will be the last stage I can beat until I get someone on the right side that I could actually have do anything. I'll keep an eye on Haas this time. I need two camets, guys. Can can someone make it so that I can use camet twice? Would be appreciated. I don't think he's going to be able to survive the like random hits that the boss is going to do. Yeah, I need to put this like elf down like every single time. Uh, one survived as well, which is not great for the block side of things. It's actually maybe good because Artemis is constantly healing, so getting better rage. I don't know if that counts. Oh my goodness. Is it one again? No, it's two now. <laughs> I think this is the last main wave though. So as long as we can deal with it, it's good. I don't think we will. I think someone's going to just about to walk through. Oh, that was so unlucky. That was literally the fifth. Yeah. And that's it. Because now it's just going to be the group on the left hand side. So just, just a little bit of RNG there. That's unfortunate. I'll restart, but I'm pretty sure I'd be able to beat this. Oh, another one 
similar throw anyway. But yeah, I think I can beat this one. If I can nearly get it without RNG on the first one, then it's fine. The next one I'm not going to be able to beat, though. The right side is just... Like, the left side is so easy. I'm literally no problems with the left side. Um, I don't know how I can make it so that the right side's stronger. Bit, bit vital put down your damage dealer physical immunity immune to physical damage Ah, I see. So this, this, what's his name? Is it Trusk? Trusk would have been really good for this. Really, really good. I'm just going to do it every single time. I think the refer the, the turnaround is a decent. Oh, I didn't put it down. <laughs> I wasn't focusing on that on twenty three, it's my bad. But yeah, I think I think we've got this. But th this is it. I'm not gonna get past this stage. Relying on twin fiend for damage is not really good. He isn't that guy. Now if Zilla two is in front of him, maybe. Because then you know focus damage and stuff like that. Aeon might be nice here. Yeah, true. She's gonna be absolutely obliterated though because of the um uh, Maybe if I can figure out if I can beat the bottom with someone else. Cause the bottom is easier to tank. I need better bursts at the top. If I don't do it this way, I'm gonna switch out the the I'm gonna put Cam at watching the top because I need much better burst at the top. I don't need burst at the bottom. I just need sustain damage. And sustain damage is easier. I don't need burst at the bottom because let's say any I can even put um Artemis down the bottom. Come on, Why are you why are you doing it? Oh, thank you. Why, why is he dying? <laughs> why is he dying? So I could put Kama at the top. Yeah. I'm just trying to think about it, the situation. I don't think I'm going to have the damage output that Kamet's bringing to the table.
Okay, let me see if I can hold off on this Wood Elf thing for as long as possible here. Is this it? Crimson Moon is the skill, right? Yeah, there we go. That's the way to do it. And the elf should come back in time. There we go. I don't think I've got the damage output. One's going to get through again. Oh, no, I stunned him. Okay. We did good. Let's pull this. Okay, so the bottom's done. I think I think that's it. Nice. I can tank four. I'm not gonna do the next one. <laughs> I mean, I'll try, but it's not gonna work. Uh, I'm using Avalon. <laughs> like you can see, I'm using Avalon. So I'm not gonna be able to get past the next one. <laughs> it's gonna be a bit of an awkward scenario, I think. <laughs> okay. Uh, that was all right though. Swapping the two DPS. Yeah, that's what I might do for the next one. Um, but the issue is like heal reduction, right? I've got Lysir doing heal reduction at the bottom and Artemis doing heal reduction at the top. Now I could potentially switch um, I could potentially switch uh, Twin Fiend out for somebody else and put Karen in his position. I don't really have anyone else. I mean, they have physical damage reduction, right? I mean, she's slow. Uh, I need magic damage. Let me let me read this like enemy first. Let me read this enemy. Which is the enemy that I'm having the issue, the issue with? Is it this one? I think it's the Twisted Sycophant. The ones that roll in from the bottom left-hand corners. Greatly reduces the physical damage ring. Received, doubles the healing received. Immune to control effects, displacement skills in addition, slow effects inflicted at 50% shorter. Once the nibble elves, they, yeah, okay. Um, so I think everyone's immune to detects invisibility. So you can't use invisibility on the bottom row. Hmm. I don't I don't have many goods. I'm on stage five, yeah. I don't have many good AoE mages. I mean maybe I don't know, maybe would Alistair be able to do enough damage here? Like the bottom, the bottom area just needs sustained damage, or maybe even like no, greed's damage output just isn't there. Let me try. Let me try that. Let me try Alistair instead. Vienna. I don't think Vienna's got enough damage. Like she's got to be able to get all 
10 of the bottom row half HP, then nuke them. And then they're just going to heal back up if she doesn't, you know? She's just going to heal back up if she doesn't. Um, we'll give him the base, one of these. He probably gets, what, three alts off? So I don't think it's worth going for Soulbounder Kana for him. Artemis. Maybe I just give him what I gave. Uh, a lot of single target damage though, unfortunately. Oh no, it's not. It's a crit multiplier. Okay, it's not too bad. It's all right. It's okay. The Forge event is back. All right. I wonder if the progress is saved. Let's have a little look. so weird okay bizarre <laughs> that's so strange isn't it so weird i demand compensation still i demand compensation <laughs> okay uh, okay let's uh let's get back into it <laughs> it was the, uh, the, the trauma i had to deal with not knowing if it was going to come back okay we don't need wrath who, who are, maybe we can invigorate somebody because at the moment I'm not placing two people. I'm not placing her. So we, let's put invigoration on her. And we can invigorate the top. And we can invigorate the bottom damage dealer. That'll work right. Um, yeah, fine. And then who else do we have inv for invigoration? Someone who maybe can even do a little bit of damage if things go wrong. But I'll, I'll give it... I'll, I'll put Twin Fiend in with him. He's not, I think... I literally just put the invigoration gear on the other person that I normally use here. Um, okay, we'll do this. Big attack speed for Twin Fiend now. Um, it would be better to do it for cheaper characters. Nineteen is reasonably expensive, but we're gonna just we're just gonna sell. Yeah, we'll we'll see. We'll see. We shall see. So I think we only place one tank at the beginning. Um, we don't need to place the other tank. Oh, no, that, I mean, that, I'll try it this way first. I'll try it this way first, but I think I'm putting him up the top, actually. Okay. We can actually just do his ult. I don't think it's going to work though, is it? Because they're, they're probably healing. I don't know if they're healing or not. It doesn't look like it. They're just, they're just the invisibility detectors. Alright. And Kamek should have... He did get the, the, the damage. Just in time, he's going to be able to come in. These guys were tanky before, but now got a little bit more. Oh, Jesus. Okay, I need something better on him. He's. I think he's just wearing, like, I don't know what he's wearing. I want to say he's wearing Glacier. He doesn't need Glacier. Use damage reduction. Let's find Vortex. He's getting worse stats, but he'll have 25% damage reduction. Okay, this surely I've got better tank gear then. I think I've got two decent sets. Okay, the other one's on her and I need it on her. <laughs> okay. Um, let me see. It's weird I could select more than one now, isn't it? Oh no, wait, I might have one on a non-northerner. It's got attack speed on the left side, I don't know why. Um, let's go with this. And then... Let's go with... Oh, we 
can do equipped as well. Let's actually just take his. No, we'll take this actually. I don't know why it's on him. Okay. Uh, don't you hate it when you get these pieces? Attack bonus, crit rate. Hate it. HP bonus, def defense. Like they don't know how to make um, Immortal Warrior pieces ancients. Like the first three stats are meant to be what's good for Immortal Warrior. Now, sure, an offensive Immortal Warrior is decent, but they're all offensive pretty much. All right, we'll take this one from our death for sure. What's this one got? He's got a defense bonus and attack bonus. He's got pretty decent stats now. No, no, wait. There was something wrong with his, with his right side. That is the wrong set. Just by that guardian. <laughs> my guardian pieces as well are terrible for some reason. Everything else rolls fine, but my guardian pieces do not. I might have some better guardian pieces though. Look, look everything, and I don't have many guardian pieces either. I hear this is not like. Oh, there we go. That's decent. I hear this is not just a me thing. A lot of people suffer from this. Okay, so we get off the first roll here. Okay, yeah, we'll probably just max this one then. Just get that main defense bonus and flat HP a little bit as well. Nice. Okay, there we go. Plus 6,000 defense. So he's nearly, nearly at 10,000 defense. Should be better. If I beat this, it'd be miraculous. Um, for sure. I wonder how many free to plays are beating six. I don't think I'm going to. A bit tankier this time. The seer is getting blasted, but he should be alright. Whether oh man, he's really expensive. I forgot about how expensive Alistair is. Will I be able to place him in time? Yo, this is as good as mine. Need to wait on placing him if I can. Till after this crimson moon. Nah, this is not enough burst damage here. Although. We only needed to beat two, and we did it. Okay, and he survives it. That's important. That's important. We won't be able to uh, invigorate him. 
forgot about that. Gotta time this as well. Although, our oh, one did just get through. No. Alistair's not yet. He's just, he doesn't have Bert. Um, oh, well, actually, we'll switch him around. I think maybe Alistair down the bottom has enough damage. He's the only other AoE that I've got that's actually any good. Uh, like if I have Boreas, or, oh no, Boreas doesn't work here, does he? Okay, we'll try, we'll try Alistair down the bottom. Really expensive, though. Really expensive. Holy moly. <laughs> Holy moly. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. I was going to sell him anyway. <laughs> uh, although... We might be having problems. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like the one shot, I actually have to put down the tank. Ah, oh, man, he's so expensive. Why don't? Why does he cost twenty five, man? I don't think he's going to be able to beat the other ones, to be honest. <laughs> He's not even scratching them. <laughs> it's actually hilarious how bad he is. Like, he killed one. <laughs> oh, goodness. Even if I had one really heavy single target nuke, the top could deal with single target. I leave the bottom how it is. The bottom is doing really well. Bottom's doing great. Uh. Doesn't he do magic damage? Is it soul sniping that does magic magic damage? Just says damage though. I see magic damage pop up on him. Is it is it the eye after attacking the same target? Who have I got, guys? Who? Shamir. No, there's no way Shamir's it. Is there? Is it Shamir? I think the problem with Shamir is I don't control when his ult happens, and it's pro he's probably going to do it at a bad time. 
It can't be Shamir. Uh, should we try him? He actually has crazy, crazy, crazy. Um, he can do crazy, crazy damage, I've seen at least. But he needs to be really geared offensively, and I don't think he'd be able to survive. We'll give him Silas's gear. The reason I say him is because he's got longer range. Um, let me try and do this. Is it maxed? Because I did just get another one. Can I promote? Let's get maxed. And we're going to fully max this because I definitely use it a lot. Okay. I think he's going to get killed though. But he's going to have two healers on him. Yeah. Let me see how much damage other people's gear gets me. Better attack speed as well. But less crit damage. I'll try this gear. We'll attack more often. 600 attack speeds. I'm not sure. Does he get affected by uh, attack speed? I, I'm not actually sure about this. Yeah. 1.4 attack interval. I think his ultimate lasts for 20 seconds. So I'll be able to get off like close to 12 hits 20 seconds mm, uh, okay the bomb is fine with the bomb is fine with uh Kama. the bomb is fine so that, let's not try and reinvent the bottom we already, we already know what we're doing here We need to reinvent the top. <laughs> That's what we need to do. Okay. I actually need to put him down early because he has a really slow ult. Let's see if he can if he gets one shot or not by the boss right now. If he gets one shot, we can't take him. Okay, he's all right. Because his range is two, so I can put him behind. It's just he can't tank, realistically. He cannot tank. Okay. 
Mm, same issue. Two still survived. I didn't I didn't block for some reason. Like just that many pe people are getting through. Got no damage. I I wish I had melees, guys. I wish. I really don't. There's literally no one else I can use really. I could try I could try this this big boy. He has stuns. Very heavy attack speeds. His damage output isn't too bad. If I had if I had Valeria, this would be pretty straightforward. I'm gonna go for all out damage on him though. Uh, or do we do Lino Supervisor as an extra block? I maybe did that a bit too early. Yeah, I think I did. Unless I can really burst this heavily, I don't know. <laughs> Tried to be a bit too cheeky. I wanted to try and get him down early to get his ult off twice, but... It is what it is. The rest went okay, though. We buff him. Who do you think does more damage? I think we I think we don't have any choice. We kinda have to buff him if we want to buff somebody. This is gonna be really risky the way we're doing it though.
thing is oh it just runs out Okay, same thing that happened last time, two are behind the wall, so it's not a problem. But now he's constantly got his ult, so maybe that makes a difference in the next one. He just does physical damage. Oh, oh no, they got snuck through. I thought it blocked it enough. <laughs> it's close to looking like it blocked it enough. But then, then the next wave will just demolish me anyway. Uh, who does who does medic damage? I don't think any melees. This I need this Trusk. I needed to get lucky with Trusk, guys. I tried, sort of. Don't want. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. <laughs> I think we're doing it. I think we're doing it. But uh, he gets the bonus as well. If this works, if Shamir works, gonna gonna be absolutely hilarious. <laughs> Bit of single target damage. Oh my god! If Shamir works, it'll be so it'll be so great. What's his alt cooldown? If it's like six hundred, oh my god. Uh, this actually could be bad for me. This could be bad. Mm. I have to position him really strangely because I might have if I. If I put him up here, right, he's going to just ult when they come in his corner and it's going to be pointless. He needs to ult when they're, like, in front of the tank. So we've got the tank here. He needs to ult only when there is in front of a tank. So I need to put him here. Or here, even. Like, or, oh, no, okay. Yeah, kind of here. So that means I would have to put... Artemis here, but I don't think that can work because then now Shamir's not getting healed. Unless I hear Shamir with, heal Shamir with the elves, this is gonna be such. I'll try it normally, but without without switching their positions, and then we'll see how bad it will go afterwards. Because I think Shamir's going to like ult when they're like at the first candles at the top and then they'll just walk past it. That's what I think is going to happen. I probably don't need to invigorate Kemma, it's just to make it easier and quicker down the bottom. It's nearly Shamir time. Oh, I just noticed her hair, it looks actually pretty cool.
try and leave it late the first one if I can. Because I think he'll just start with his ult. Uh, I thought he would have his uh, ult straight away. I think there's three alive right now. Oh, come on, kill that one, kill that one. Okay. His single target damage is not too bad. 70k he hits someone for. So he's doing his ult already. Oh, someone died. Oh, Shamir. Oh, yeah, I completely forgot about it. I don't think it would work, though, because, look, the next group's coming down. And I need to kill four here. <laughs> what am I doing, guys? Shamir. Shamir. I mean, I could use a vortex instead, and I could heal Shamir that way, or whoever's there. I don't necessarily have to use Elevan by lots of things. She's just nice because of the cleanse, but you don't have to cleanse anything. What stage have you guys managed to get up to? Okay, I think we do this early. Oh, why couldn't I place that before? Oh, I didn't have enough cost. That might be a problem, but I can't really get around. Don't place Avalon down. No, 
Oh, see where he's doing it. Why is he doing it up there? Actually, maybe. Okay, there's still two there, though. The timing on his ults are pretty decent, though. I need two melees or actual damage. Avalon and Shamir aren't cutting it, guys. Cerberus has helped me. Yeah. I mean, I could try Aatrox and Cerberus. That... That might work. Um, um, I think I'll put him down afterwards so he doesn't block anybody. But he will need to block people initially. I've been thinking of skilling this guy up, actually. I think I recently got some better cursed as well. Let's see. Not really. Well, I can lose some crit actually. I don't need rage regen. I don't think a task speed actually does anything. So just the crit damage being higher is better, I guess. I still need crit rate on this. I could maybe take his gear, although his gear is not actually that. Mm. Now I don't need crit rate. Hey, what's up, Cygnus? Get anything tasty, mate? Don't make me too jealous. Got lots of crit rate apparently. I mean, the item I've got is good, but only just don't need crit rate. <laughs> Let's see uh, attack bonus, crit damage, crit rate. Let's go over HP. Oh, that is actually nice. I should still have star 100%. That is actually nice. I might max skill him, you know. Um, um, I won't do it today. I'll do it when the, the event starts. But I haven't, unless I pull like Hex and Zillitu this weekend, I've got so many skill crystals. Just regular groceries. Come on, you, you snuck something cheeky in there. I know. I know. <laughs> I would have. I know. I had, um, what did I have? Uh, sticky toffee pudding in my last order with custards. And it was like Mr. Kipling's. It had two of them in it. That was nice. I had it two days in a row. Full dinner and dessert. Lovely jubbly. Lovely jubbly. Had my butt kicked off my console. Oh, okay. Was that before or after the gym? Uh, <laughs> we, don't, we don't use that 
sort of language in my chat, Bretland. I'm not sure where you, you've been using that sort of chat and think it's okay, but it's not okay. <laughs> <laughs> My thought process is put Avalyn in the same spot that we had her in, right? And then we just put Cerberus in front of them. And then he'll be able to block a little bit, but he'll, his pull damage will hopefully be really good. I swear, indeed. That's a pretty horrible three-layer word you just used. No, I didn't mean to do that. That was that was nearly messed up of the century. I actually did mess up. I used his ult way too early. I don't think I'll be able to tank this. We'll see. I don't know how long his heal reduction actually lasts. Kamet's nuke is good enough that it might be okay. The heal reduction is still there. It lasted long enough. I did that quite early, to be honest. Okay, so now we put down Cerberus now. And we start doing hits. He should die, hopefully, reasonably soon. He's got his ult straight away, which is nice. I'm not sure if I go off. And then put down him as well. Yo! Yo! Cerberus takes a long time to come back though, that's the only problem. But that was pretty good. It's a shame I can't like invigorate somebody with, uh, I, I mean I can't, I can't invigorate twice. Maybe I need to level her up. She's not going to do any damage where she, as, she, as it stands. That's not too bad, that's not too bad. We might, I think we might be able to get past this if this works. I used Cerberus and Aatrox duo quite a lot in other things, so I should have really gone to that quite early. Okay, now. He dies instantly, but hopefully. Yeah, okay, that's enough. It's, it's enough. But she might have to tank here. This is the problem. She probably is going to have to tank too. But Cerberus will be back for the next ones, I hope. Oh, is she tanking three? I think it's two. Ah, uh, will he be back for the next ones? I don't know. I don't know, guys. His, his cooldown is so massive. <laughs> his cooldown is so massive. Let, let me see if my skill up, if skill ups can reduce how long that uh, that is, or yeah, I might do it to be honest. Cost reduction for allied mages. First deployment costs. I don't think it changes. Changes how long the effect does. I think this will get me through it, so I'm just gonna. I wanted to skill him up anyway, because I was using him in other things. Fortunately, I've got enough fodder to get Corridor of Glory done. I really need the left side. I bet I get left side last. That's where I'll get massive damage increase. 
Okay, we, I don't think we bother with this one. Cost of reduction for allied mages. We'll maybe do that down the line. We don't need it today. Um, I don't think we need Lunacy Visor. We die so quick. We'll just do damage. We just die so quick. So he'll get a big boost to his damage output now. If I had a maxed Lunacy Visor, I don't even think it'd be worth it with the flat stat increase that I get. Thank goodness I've got Kamek, because if I didn't have Kamek, I'd have no chance. <laughs> He's like literally carried everything that requires a mage from me. It's so important. It's mad. I thought someone died, but I was like, wait, something went wrong. But no, actually, people are meant to die. So this first wave, I deal with it so nicely. Maybe you don't use Cerberus there and just Aatrox. Because for whatever reason, the next wave's harder, but I think it's exactly the same. One's not through this time. Artemis got a bit slow. Yeah, I'm pushing the limits on this for sure for me. How are you guys doing on this? I know you're probably not able to do this yet, Bretland. Have you given it a bash? Cygnus. I need to use Artemis' ult earlier. I was waiting too long. And I've got to remember that he, he has like 20% of it after the first with Cerberus. So I need to use it early. Watching you makes me think I'm about a year away from this. <laughs> well, to a, to, to a certain extent, you kind of are. Because I've been playing for like eight months and I'm not going to be able to beat all the stages here. So like crazy enough... <laughs> 
you might be onto something. This is definitely meant for more end game players. Even if you compete stage one, though, it's decent because you can just at least farm the gear a little bit. Nice, he put that down, that's a bonus. Absolutely melts them. And look, the ult's still down. Which is great. Look how long it lasts. So long. I don't think, yeah, it's not going to last until the next wave, surely. Okay, we managed to deal with that. If Cerberus comes back for the next ones, we're, we're absolutely fine. But if he doesn't, we're in trouble, I think. I don't even know if we're going to be able to get Artemis' ult back here. They, they're coming faster than they were before, I think. There's like four here, I think, now. Maybe we save... Maybe we save him till later. Try and keep him up for as long as possible. Oh, if that if that worked, wait, I kept I kept him alive for too long. <laughs> I needed him to actually die. <laughs> that actually worked quite well. I think I'll switch it around though. I think the first two waves I'll just try and deal with it with him, and then the last wave is when I could bring him in. Because the last wave is like where it's almost a double header. Oh man. Yeah, we can get it past the first part really smoothly. Okay. And then the first part I can tank with a heal. Okay, that's interesting. Okay, we let the first two through, and then we put down him, and then we also put down this. Oh, he died insta. Hopefully we did enough, just about. We might have to use Cerberus on the second wave, but maybe that's okay.
so close, man. Because the last ones I could tank. I think. Uh, that was literally it. That 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 was it though. I just needed Cerberus. I needed Cerberus to die quicker. Crazily enough. Maybe I put him backwards. Yeah. Man, we're gonna get this. <laughs> we're gonna get this. I'm determined. I'm definitely not even gonna try the next stage. It's pointless. That is, that is definitely whale territory. Ain't no free to plays getting that one. Die, please, Cerberus. I'm just not dying quick enough. I think I put him in the wrong place anyway. I couldn't see. <laughs> I couldn't see what I was doing. But he's not dying very quick. I don't have Lunacy Visor on him anymore, so I don't know why. Maybe I need to place him way early. Like, really, really early. Just so he kills himself a little bit. We'll try that. Tormented Banshee. Oh, I think I think I think he managed to stay alive. That's actually great. Like what if I place him now? Yeah, it's great.
They should kill all of them. They should kill all of them. Beautiful, beautiful. So I need basically what I need to do on the next one is what? I think I need to kill all six. No, I need to kill five. I need to kill five. <laughs> that is beautiful though. Well done, Cerberus. If I kill five, we're okay. But I don't think we'll do it. I'll kill these first two. But I need to kill three of the other ones. I can I think I can only kill two of the other ones. We need to kill two here. Or Cerberus comes back in time. I don't think he will though. Uh, I think I think we lost it. <sighs> yeah. oh, it's gonna be so close. needs to die. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. No. <laughs> I did. Oh, no, I thought I beat it, but. Uh, I thought only two snuck through. Let me see. Okay, okay, okay. Maybe we don't need her. The 30% damage on him is really good. But maybe we don't need her. Right? And the only reason I say that is because then maybe... I can take her. Maybe. Okay, she's fine. I'm not sure if I can invigorate platform units with ground units. Let me see if this works. I've lost thirty percent damage on. Oh no, maybe it's not thirty percent. But I've lost a reasonable amount of damage. I can invigorate platform units. And then I can even put her down to block a little bit. Maybe I need to re-gear her if this doesn't work. Oh, okay. I need to put down a tank for sure. Um. <laughs> okay, that was hilarious. Surely he can out tank that. My goodness. I don't I don't know why King Haas is such a bad tank. It's mad. Maybe we just don't place anyone for ages. We don't need to place anyone at the beginning. Okay, let's see if we can do it now.
Chilled, chilled, chilled. Thank you. <laughs> See how much damage I've lost, though. It's like really noticeable the amount of damage I'm not doing now with Kamat. But his ult might be okay. We'll see. Okay, he's hitting for 169 instead of 224, but we should be okay as long as he. Um, all right, we might we might be late on this one. Yeah, he, he's okay. He's okay. We're okay. I just got. He'll he'll be able to kill everything. We're okay. <laughs> Jeez. And then we've got a much bigger better cooldown on Cerberus. Why is it minus? I, I won't do the first wave again. I'll do the same as I did last time. I won't do the first wave. Man, this is tough. This is tough. Okay, I think we just put Cerberus down straight away, didn't we? do his damn it oh, my bad so many alts i've got to do both sides at the same time uh, <laughs> i can smell the victory though so close i'm very I'm, i'll be very happy if i manage to do five very very happy here And that shield is almost perfect. And then Kamek kills them just before they kill pause <laughs> the timing on this is just like impeccable i don't think you can do six without like a venom though for camera
to die a little bit late. Don't think we get too much of them now. That's from her awakenings. No. How did I, how did I beat them? I did it this exact thing last time. Uh, sorry, Celia Cygnus. What do I mean by cost? Do you see this in the bottom? Uh, let me let me turn on my mouse cursor. So sorry, sorry, Wurgle, I didn't see you hit, jump on my stream. Okay, you can see my mouse cursor now. Um, this is cost. So like, it generates a cost. You know, you know how it generates cost constantly, right? And then each of these people cost a certain amount to play. So five, six, eight, eighteen, twenty. That's what I mean by cost. So like, the um, wood elf on the far left is something that um, Elowin has as like a thing that she summons. Well, she she allows you to summon, but it costs five. I think. I think. It will talk about all the way back to when I didn't have enough cost to actually just like summon it. It's a wee bit embarrassing, but it is what it is. I might have popped in his thing a bit too early. This is shields quite often though. But yeah, I did it too early. Might have to check the save gear. I'm not sure what he's gone. Okay. The damage down the bottom isn't a problem, but it would be better maybe to have it.
I'll do my war attacks as well after this. My GVG. Uh, once I've completed this. I, I should complete this. <laughs> You'd think. Oh look, it's, it's scam o'clock, guys. I always get a scam call around this day, a time of day. Every single day. Every single day. It's wonderful. I meant to put him down early, didn't I? Not a big deal. I know why I messed up there. It's because I healed with Elowen. It kept him alive for longer. <laughs> stop, stop surviving for so long, Cerberus. Jeez. Jeez. Trying to survive and all this stuff. What's his ultimate range? Why wasn't he shooting him when they were far away? Okay, we do not want to heal on Elowen until he dies. Oh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Hey, what's up, Daylight? I 
I think we're good, you know. I think we're good. I did his way too early. Oleg died. Oh man. <laughs> There's just so much going on. I hate that they're all it's all happening at the same time on both sides. Ugh. Hey doing daylight. That's crazy. It kind of is. It kind of is. This is like the newest thing that they just added, a new dungeon. The best thing about the dungeons in this game is you only have to complete them once. Once you complete them. So I don't mind spending a couple of hours trying to complete them. Because once I've completed it, I never have to complete it again. All I do from then is farm it whenever it comes up. And that's fine for me. Didn't need to use that shield. Yeah, just auto. I mean, it's it's even better now. Like it, you can do it in the background. You don't even have to watch it. They've done some nice updates recently. Okay, I might get my shield just in time. As she said, just in time. <laughs> I didn't really need it to go over there.
I don't know. Maybe I've not got it. No, I've got this far before. I don't know what why it's... Uh, it's because of the damage output of Kamen that's really low. Ah, but I need Volker so bad. Okay, one sec. I'm just going to re-gear Volker, see if I can get her more damage. I'm able to get halfway through stage three. Yeah, it is tough. It is tough. I'm just gonna regear Volker. Well, when I say regear, I just mean put her in. Maybe we, maybe we'll give her the lunacy visor, so that we, we we may want to tank with her at a certain point. Um, no, actually, I'll just go for all out damage as well starting to run out of uh, keen wisdom so maybe we need to max out one more if I'm gonna actually gear her yeah 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 I haven't been placing her but we will place her we, we're gonna go with pure attack probably um Okay, that's a nice piece. I might re-gear her uh, invigoration as well to so get actually good invigoration. I think she's just literally just got it, random invigoration stuff on right now. Ah, oh, we'll give. We'll give that one. Okay. Let's check out. Invigoration. I did just get a as oh, a heal reduction. Both of them a heal reduction. Uh, so we want attack damage, crit rate. Just have to remember that. I probably will just steal hers, but she doesn't have crit rate on hers. Wait, did I say crit rate? No. Yeah, I did. Why is it showing me ones that don't have crit rate? Oh, primary, sorry. Crit rate. I mean, that's okay. Let's see how this rolls. Yuck. Okay, the one she's got is okay ish. Crit rate, attack speed. Okay. Why is her crit rate just disappeared? She's got no crit rate here. Did I have a piece with crit crit right here? Mm, not ideal. Maybe she doesn't need a hundred percent crit rate. Okay, she's not getting hit crit rate on this. As much as it is an ancient, we need crit rate. And let's go for some crit. No, we can't get crit damage here, can we? Or attack speed. That's probably the best one. Let's just go with this. 80% okay, crit rate. Oh, I still need a. I still need crit rate here, don't I? Or do we just, I think we just don't bother with crit rate on this piece. 80% still okay. This is like, she's only hopefully doing a little bit of bonus damage. But 
I don't know if she does uh, magic damage, but it's more about the fact that she can do. Oh, it's just it's just physical damage, unfortunately. But she might be able to get her ultimate quickly. I don't know. Wait until the first Crimson Moon, and then do this. smoothly does it Oh, I did it a bit too early on his ult. Mm, I, I misclicked. We'll see what happens. I'm going to have to tank four. Because of my misclick. So we got this far before. It's about dealing with both the ways at the same time on the next one. Amazing, amazing, we did it. I think that's a victory, guys. Unless it goes really wrong here. Oh, 
Oh, we're just going to miss out. But we, I think we should be able to complete it. Yeah, we completed it, but we didn't get it. Uh, but you can see, it, it can work. <laughs> uh, two stars, first time, yeah. <laughs> oh, goodness. Yeah. Amazing. Let me try and re-gear. The only other thing I could maybe do is re-gear this guy. It just doesn't seem to be doing much damage. Maybe maybe attack speed isn't the way to go. Maybe I, I mean he's got a lot of attack. Let's try him in this gear. Instead. Let me see what Lucia's gear is gear, because Oh, I went for the... I don't think I need to do this, actually. I don't think I need to do that. This gives him more HP as well. Okay, now he won't actually do damage. Okay. This will either just... Look, if this is just really, really smooth, I'll just face palm. Right. <laughs> yeah, show you how important gear is, though. I'll show you. Okay, I, I wait until the first moonshine thing and then I start doing my invigoration stuff because then I can't get one shot while I'm doing this. I think if you try and do it earlier, the. Uh... Okay, let's see what his single target damage is like. Forty k. Well, those are things. I'm not really sure what he's saying for. To be honest, hard to work out. It's so random. It's so random. Sometimes Haas is like, yeah, you know what, I'm gonna tank. And then the next time he's just like, I'm gonna get one shot. <laughs> You're blurred. Look, he's just getting absolutely annihilated for some reason. I don't think I changed anything. On, I might have. I'm, I don't think I did. Did I? Did I, like, take a piece off of him by accident? Nah, 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 nah. I don't think I did. Nah. Just randomly, they're like, we're going to just start decimating him. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. What's changed? <laughs> Absolutely nothing. Nothing that would make his damage go down. Uh, his his damage reduction and stuff go down. I don't get. It. Maybe I place him first. I don't know. Just so he's got his shield a bit earlier. Nah, he's gonna get one shot, isn't he?
Okay, I can't do it quick enough to go there, that's nice. I'll do this here in a second. Ah, uh, his hill reduction's not up there. What is going on? Oh, I think I'm doing six. Am I doing stage six? I think I'm doing stage six. I think I'm doing stage six. <laughs> I was like, why is he taking so much more damage? Yeah. <laughs> Unless it's three star stage five. I think that's all we can do. I can see I don't have the tank gear. Like, I've done a lot of runs. Thousands and thousands and thousands of runs. I have not got very good um, tank gear. The game does not give you good tank gear. Hopefully, I'm hoping this new this new dungeon gives me good tank gear because the actual rest of the game is not. No wonder that was. I was like, why? What has changed? I'm doing attacking probably mobs with 25% extra attack. That's probably what's doing it. And Haas is like an average tank at best. I think I might have messed up the bottom actually. We'll see. I don't think Kermit's going to get his ult back fast enough for the next wave. Yeah, I think I missed it. Oh.
God's sake. There's so much to do it. Smooth, that was smooth. Optimus just survives by skinning his teeth every single time. That's funny. That's perfect. The next bit of randomness is if I can get my stuff up on the left bottom left hand side off quick enough. Right side is fine. As long as his Artemis' ult comes up early. Hallelujah! Three stars! <laughs> it was possible, I knew it! That's it though. I'm not doing the next one. It's not a chance. <laughs> I mean, you saw what it was like. Is it the pr- it is. It's the scammers again. They love it.
Stop ringing me. So now to farm this, what? 150 times or whatever, 144 times. Cost 2,800 energy, but I can do it over a couple of days. Oh, that was, that was, that was tough. That was tough. The HP, let, let me, let's see the, does it tell you the stats of the enemy? Oh, no, it doesn't really tell you. I, I wish it just told you the numbers. No defense, no HP. Wait, what? These are the ones that are impossible to kill. How have they got no HP? Huh. They change a bit. Maybe there's more of them? Um. Maybe there's just more of them. I'll try once. We already tried and it wasn't working, but I'll try once. I start off with less cost as well, by the looks of things. I could be wrong. It lied about them having lower HP, by the way. I'm going to go ahead and say that. <laughs> they definitely don't have lower HP. It said they had lower HP than stage 5. It's not true. I recently got a hero called Mariel. Epic. She's alright. She's alright. I'm going to leave it there, guys. We're going to do GBG now. Blimey. Blimey. We're going to get our GBG done. Check out what's in the store. Take out this team. We could probably fly over their heads. Um, they, cause they, cause they have no pierces. I can tank their range characters with my tank and just fly over their heads with other flyers. We will give that a go. I think. Let me just make sure all my best characters have the gear so that. Oh man, how many times do I have to back out there? Because if they don't have their best gear, then. 
the auto fill will not be as 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 legit. Cerberus actually goes really high here, skills, after I upgraded his skills. Who's got his gear? Was it Shamir? It might have been Shamir, and then we took Shamir's... Who did we give it to? This is the question. No, we didn't give it to Cerberus. Did we? Crit damage, crit rate, attack. No, I don't think it was that. I think I had 235% crit damage. <laughs> yeah, so I must have sw swapped that Cerberus piece into his hands. Okay. This is the dangerous part about messing around with gear too much. You can mess up other things. Okay, that's reasonable. He didn't have a hundred, oh, he did have a hundred percent crit rate, but yeah, we'll come back and fix this. This isn't the problem. Okay, I think now we should get a little bit more. Nope, not the same apparently. Okay, let's just fight. These two can sometimes do enough to like kill multiple at the same time by themselves. Oh, that's a shame. But the, the tactic was to just fly through anyway, so not a big deal. Yeah, I think we send in two tanks. And we wait for the next ult. Send in a healer as well. So after the next ult from Ajax, we can just send them in. Oh, they're actually do the tanks are doing enough damage by themselves. Didn't even need the flyers, the tanks did the job. Okay. I like to attack everyone once rather than like attacking the same team multiple times. And the reason I do this is so other people can see my attacks and attack that way if they want to. Man, this is a terrible team. <laughs> Uh, it's a terrible team. We'll take some dogs in and some spiders. 
So I don't know why it's quicker for doing 365k here. But he's actually taking the first five characters. I don't I don't get it though. Oh no, it isn't. For some reason. Some random other character. He's locked in. I don't know why it's doing this. It's like affiliating characters that I haven't even got in the team. Quick affiliate can be a really annoying sometimes. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Now this one, the double flyer is going to be great against. Because they've got no healers. It's, it's going to double like two shot, like every single one of these characters. See you later, Spiders. Not too easy. Flyers again. They only have one person. Actually, we won't. We won't do little flyers. I'll do archers because I think I can kill their. Uh, Twenty five K increase. <laughs> I think I can kill their um what's her name? Uh Calypso straight away. Okay, just get making sure my escape button works. She only, she only took one hit, man. Uh, I'll probably send in one fly to s support these guys as well with more damage. With like a triple hit. Once they get to the corner. That one I might hit again. Okay, this is le legit. They will not defend me at all here. Because I'm pretty sure my... Oh, no, wait. They've got stealth, so I have to... 
Um, I think I have to sacrifice one of my units. Mount my tank. Yeah, we have to sacrifice a tank. I probably should have put it up front just to get it there quicker, but because I can't, I can't hit Hatsa until she comes out of stealth. Give me some ancient shards. Diamonds. That tank is, I think he's level five. I got really lucky. I'm not sure if he's level four or level five. But he might be level five. Oh, he's only level two. Yeah, I used to use this tank. Really, really good, because he does so much more damage, but only very good in very particular circumstances, i.e. if they don't have any magic damage. If they have no magic damage, then it's a great, great tank. Okay, this is a hard team. Okay. I can try and one shot Hex and then I can maybe fly over their heads. I won't risk him. I'll take her. Let me see who's mistake who's affiliated with me. Okay. Let me get as much damage on these guys as possible. I kind of want these uh, to be kind of geared up as well. Who's the one that they just keep ignoring? Who's the video? Salazar down at 59k versus, I mean, it's not that big a difference to be fair. Okay. Let's see if it works. My two golden flyers might be able to one shot Hex before he goes into. Invisible. I just have to time this perfectly. It's very hard to do with Boreas on the team. The freeze hopefully will push them back to be in the same line. Come on, Boreas, Boreas. No. I think they'll get through though. Okay, this is this is a this will be a little problem. I might lose this one. Yeah, I've lost. Well, 
I just won. That was so fortunate, right? Yeah. <laughs> I actually gave up. You heard me. I lost. I lost. Yeah, that, that team is like very, 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 very whaley. Cyrus and Barreras in the same team. Cyrus and Barreras, man. I'm actually surprised I beat this team. I don't want to attack it again, though. <laughs> the little bit of randomness on that last bit. I don't think many people will beat be that in our faction. There's a 410 here. Okay, this one shouldn't be too much of a problem. Um... Everyone's just getting associated with Salazar every single time. Oh yeah, Salazar, mate. You want a Salazar? You can be Salazar if you want. Okay, I'll just switch these two. A little bit badly timed. No hitter anyway. That was mainly just about killing the other dudes. I actually killed the healer too. GG. I haven't got any ancient shards once. Bit sad. I can ask the harder of the two teams taken out, I guess. Yeah, definitely the harder of the two teams taken out. Probably the same team. Oh, this is the is this the team I just beat? Only just beat. Yeah.
Oof, they nearly didn't do anything. That was close. I haven't got ancient shards once. <laughs> so sad. So sad. Let's see our. Uh... I defended once out of five. So I guess they just destroyed one of my teams. Would you like to share the oh no I had defended twice actually what's the team that's defending this isn't my team oh I must have watched someone else back so Probably my OLAG team, I guess. Yeah. My defense generally melts people. <laughs> Look at the difference between their tank and my tank. Like, <laughs> absolutely destroyed. They didn't even get to Olag. That's how much Silas was wrecking. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Oh, man. I think that's the only team that's probably up. The other team's getting destroyed. I need help with my other team. I, don't, I just don't have a lot of characters, as you saw with the um, gear dungeon. I don't have a lot of... Uh, my character depth is not great. This is going to be... Avalyn and Livian. Yeah, I've got Avalyn and, <laughs> Avalyn and Livian in a team. It's just like, okay. I take it I got lucky getting Greed. Greed is a logging character. Oh, I actually don't think Livian was geared. It doesn't look like Livian was geared. She got melted way too quick. How did the archer hit him? Oh, it's because Livian had died. Ah, interesting. Look how good she is at tanking, though. Know? Avalyn just tanks for ages. Really, really good. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe this Crodor would be good as a tank. Um, Trust could have been amazing. I think you get him on like day 28 on login. He is good though. He is definitely good. Definitely. There's another ancient. How many am I up to now? 122. Oof. 122. Let's do some gear upgrades. I did actually get one piece of gear from this new set. I think. <laughs> it, it wasn't too bad. Like, I have to spend quite a lot to see if it's any good, but... Oh, that's a shame. 
I mean, unless it gets like 30% crit. <laughs> That's all it would have been. That would have been amazing. The first item. Like, this set is going to be the best set, by the way. Wicked Vengeance is going to be the best set. So, yeah, that would have been great. It is what it is, though. Um, let's see. I'm going to check my invigoration pieces. a shame I mean it's not even growing other things decent okay do me dirty not sure why I kept that one It's just lots of stats, not really that great, but if it would have rolled big percentages, I would have been okay with it. This is interesting one. That's not too bad. It could be worse. Lots of attack. That's maybe quite good for uh, um, oh, what's her name, Dolores. I think I need to regear my Dolores. Anyway, It's better than mine, right? It's like everything objectively is better than mine, except it doesn't. It has HP percentage. But it's probably a little bit better than mine. Oh, that one then. This one's to see if I can put on someone who's like a damage dealer. It probably is still better than some of the damage dealer ones that I've got. Same with this one. Yeah, that's nice. Um. That would have been like for Elowen or something. Okay, I think I'm selling this. I don't know why I kept this. Oh, it's because it's got attack and crit rate. I did it more for the crit rate. We sell. Um, 
you know, would have had to be massive roles realistically. I must have already done that. <laughs> um, I've got so many pieces of gear though. I don't get. I've got eight hundred and thirty-two, and I've already cleansed. Yeah. I can't do stage four. It is really tough. Do you have two um, hill reduction characters? Uh, sorry, um, health block, like hill blocks. Like Artemis and Messiah. I don't know who else has got hill block. I think is it just those two? It might be just those two. I have Boreas. Boreas doesn't. Oh, I mean, I, I guess he does, but he doesn't. Does he do damage on that? I guess he doesn't. Or it, he does damage, but no freeze. Is that how it works on that? Um, what is he part of? He's part of Isoterus. Isoteru. For four seconds when enemies are no no you can't freeze them when enemies are inflicted with freeze they will also receive anti-healing when attacking enemies inflicted with freeze deals he can't anti-heal at least not with that i don't think his anti-heal is going to work here like i know that this was meant this was built basically to counter him to a certain extent like you'd have to use other characters his anti-heal doesn't work on this so they're still healing Um, burn. I mean, the issue is the second they attack an enemy, they're going to heal. So you have to have crazy amounts of burst damage, to, and you can only really do it against the top guys. Like I have, I have Lysir to like. A3 or something, A2. I did pull him three times in like six pulls or something. I might even be able to check my history and see him. Yeah, but good till stage three. All right, okay. Is there no like self heal and stuff? You can pro you could probably out damage the healing until stage uh, up, up till stage three. Which character is good? Lysir is good. He does heal reduction or like heal block. That actually works, and so does Artemis. Both of those two. Um, other than that, I'm not really sure. Other than Barreras, I don't really know anyone else. It's a shame you can't like search by ability type. Um, I'm not sure if that Ayumi Love still updates his own website. But like, the biggest issue I had was. I didn't have anyone for to, for the right side. Like I can show you my auto. Um, for when I got stuck. Uh, where am I going? Gear raid. When I got stuck. I got stuck on this. Let me just make sure I've got people's gear on still. He's got the wrong gear on. Uh, I mean, maybe he's okay with this gear now. 
I just have to make sure people have got full sets on there. Like, he might have a broken set. There we go. All right. So I just did my auto. Oh, no, wait. <laughs> One sec. Uh, so you can see it. And the issue I had was the right side, Artemis does decent damage. I didn't have anyone else. Like my ground unit, I didn't have anyone to do like good damage, you know? Like who do you have on the floor on the right hand side? I had Avalon just for control and bigger block. I love that. <laughs> Pretty funny. Now Venomate was so much easier because of the damage with her camera, but I couldn't I couldn't have her. Because my damage on the right hand side just isn't good enough. I'm using Cerberus and Aatrox. I can see how my auto's messing up. Because she isn't dying. It's actually messing up my auto because of it. So I need to start my auto again. Need to redo this to make sure my auto works fine. What did I get? <laughs> Nothing. Oh, 28 of these. Is it the same amount every time? 28. Oh, Brave Conquest. It's a shame they didn't start a Brave Conquest with this, you know? Um, let me let me let me let it auto again, and I'll get to the same point, and I'll sell my event, uh, my uh, Volker. I guess last time she died, and I didn't sell her. I don't, I don't know. Now, if I get better tank gear, I should be able to do stage six. I think it's mainly the tank gear that's the issue. Because I was doing enough damage to kill them with camera, it just took a little bit longer. Maybe I should go for more attack than crit damage. Maybe.
I sold these before because it was just to. Uh, So now my auto should be really quick. There we go. In auto, your left side died. Now my left side, I sold. Not died. I sold them because um, if the boss was still doing their hits, I didn't want any healing to go to them. Oh uh, yeah, we'll change my auto to that. It'll be slightly slower apparently. Slightly slower. Sanguine fabric. Is that good? Did I just get like the, the good stuff? Should we test it out? Let's go to the shop. Nope. What can I afford in here anyway? What's the good thing to go for in here? Random ancient mythic gear. Yeah. Uh, unidentified weapon. Is this a... Is this the ones that work on Ancients? I don't know. Infernal Raw Guaranteed. Ancient. Don't think I'll do that. Tempered Will. Damage reduction 15% for each enemy blocked. Increases defense by 5%. This, this, see, that's the... So I, I could stack four times, give myself 20% extra defense on top of whatever I roll on this. And apparently... Those are the guaranteed things. That's actually legit. It tells you what you're guaranteed to get. Crit damage. And actually, as much as these are expensive, that's not too bad, you know. That's not too bad. Smoldering scales. 2000. For... Is it in the forge? It's a shame there isn't a button. There should be a button there for the forge as well, to be honest. Yeah. Is it foundry? Uh, okay, I can get one piece of gear here. And I have to buy those other things. Okay, left side. Oh no, you they can drop maybe. Okay. It's guaranteed Wicked Vengeance or Light's Embrace. Oh, light's grey, should I say. Unfortunately, this is just really offensive. Would have really been good on the other set. Really, that would have been amazing on the other set. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> but I got the wrong set. I got the wrong set. Um... What I'll do is I'll farm all this up over the next couple of days and then I'll probably release a video of me doing it. Um, yeah. Like, I'll farm, I'll farm this a bunch. This is the stuff that can drop. I don't think this drops anything different. It just drops slightly more of the red crystals so i can get the best drops by the looks of things yeah i can get the best drops on this when can you get the best drops is it four well it seems you can get the best drops almost from the beginning okay so three is when you start getting the increase in the other stuff oh i see actually It's about the, the gear sets down the bottom. You don't get the best gear sets until you get to three. Okay. It's not too bad. I'm not too I'm not too upset about only reaching stage five. Something to aim for in the future. Um I just managed to get all of 21s done recently. Gear A21 kicking my butt. But I managed to beat that, so. Yeah, I'll farm all this up and then I'll uh I'll do like a video probably maybe what day is it tomorrow maybe Thursday or yeah but I think I'll try and do it Thursday tomorrow um, but this is going to cost a lot of energy to do that 2800 um, and there's 
off the fat raid on today. I've done everything I need to do in Artifact Raid. I've got 20,000 points. Holy moly, I didn't realize I had that much. I've been doing that a fair bit, I guess. Um, I mean, how much would it cost me to just buy the diamonds for this right now? Because that's what the diamonds from Content Creator was for, you know, for, for getting content. How much would it cost? I need... It wouldn't cost that much. 600. So it wouldn't cost that much diamonds. I'll probably run it overnight. Alright. Um, I think we still need to do some gear stuff. We're kind of done. Okay. Okay, I'll probably make another separate video going over my attack in a little bit more clean cut detail. But my live stream's up if you want to rewatch me doing stage one to five. Um, there's no doubt going to be some big, big players out there doing stage six. But I, I'm free to play, so like. What I've done here is about as good as I can do without how unless you get really lucky with pieces. Like for instance, I got lucky and I got this character in the when, when they were promoted. If I didn't get this guy, I might have struggled to do fight. I would have one hundred percent struggled to do fight. One hundred percent. Because I don't I didn't have enough burst for the right hand side as it is. But I definitely needed that hill reduction. So uh So yeah. I, I just basically need to get lucky with like a, a Valkyra on the right hand side to replace Avalon so it's more damage coming in that position. And I think Valkyra does magic damage as well. Let's see. Deals 100% AoE to multiple enemies in range and inflicts vulnerability on them. It's AoE damage. I'm not sure. I guess I guess she does magic damage. Yeah, she's meant to be quite common. I think I have. I got. I've not been fortunate enough to get her. Okay, guys. Um, is there anyone in chat that wants me to do a, a takeover of their of their account for something? Gear eight two maybe. Guild boss. I mean, I don't mind doing this new one for you, but it's brand new. So like, <laughs> like this is what the game's about. You're meant to have fun with something brand new. If you're really hard stuck on a gear A2 stage. Cygnus, weird girl, Bretlands. Whenever you want me to do something for you, I don't mind. No one I'm on stream. I think people are AFK. Are you still actively playing the game, Daylight? Or are you just like periodically 
testing stuff out. I need gear raids 19. Okay, I don't mind. I can get you at least one of the gear raids to 19. What you need to do, weird girl, is... Um, also, Bretland, I, I can help you out with something if you want something. You need to go into your settings, right? I'm not going to do it because it shows my, my info. Um, click on settings at the bottom. And then on the right-hand side, it will say, like, link your account. You just have to link your account at the top. It will say email. Just link your account to an email. And then, um, like, PM me that email. And I'll be able to log in on your account. It will, like, it will send you a code that you have to tell me. And then I, I'm in your account, basically. Simple as that. I'm trying to actually get further when when I can. Okay. I managed to beat um, Nightmare Void last week for the first time. That was tough. And um, now I'm 100% I'm in it every time, which is honestly quite important for me because I want to try and get as many uh, Ancients as possible. And they used to have Ancients in hard, but they don't anymore. Guide. But um, at least I'm farming them in uh, Nightmare, I guess. Uh, same to you, Bretland, by the way, if you want to. I don't mind if you go to settings and just link it to an email. Also, I think, didn't we as a guild, like, last week, was it, yeah, I think it was the last week, the first battle, was the first time we managed to zero someone out, like another guild that was awesome i have been like periodically kicking inactives mine is linked to an email okay you can you can pair me that email if you want me if you just want me to by the way I, if you don't want me to that's fine but i can just do like get raid 2 is one of the best ones to progress on it is one of the more annoying ones to do in like mechanically but it can get you a particular gear gear piece that's quite interesting, which is invigoration, which could basically make other things a little bit easier. Also, I could be Snoopy and take a look around your account. <laughs> Only if you want, like I say. Have we got a new p person join? Hopefully they managed to get into the to this genty guy. Oh no, it's T money. 3.3 mil. Hopefully they're in this guild war, that'd be nice. I did put like a new um limit on our guild. He might not have signed up in time. He might not have been able to get in. Six six, yeah, someone didn't get in. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I'm laughing at your email, Bretland. <laughs> but I don't know how you managed to make even an email a joke, I don't get it. Okay, I'll just log into yours once. <laughs> okay, uh, switch email address. Okay, it will, it's emailed you a code, um, Bretland. Just give me the code in, in PM. <laughs> is his email his name i mean i'm not gonna say what it is but it's just interesting it's just funny <laughs> hey what's up Cena? sorry it's a black screen at the moment because i'm just logging into someone else's account and i don't want to give away the info should be in there in a second we're gonna snoop around bretland's account and maybe do a stage or two or something 
Okay, thank you very much. Enter it here, confirm. Um, Logging into your account, Brett Lenders, just make sure you're not, um, you don't log into it. No, I was meaning because you said he made it a joke. But it's not like a joke, but it's just funny. Wait, what? Downloading game resource. Oh, is there an update? Interesting. I have to go collect Amanda from work. I'll be listening on my phone. All right. Happy days. Okay, we're snooping in his account now. Let's have a little look. Yep. All the pop-ups. 59. He's, he's guiding them. 9k diamonds as well. 9k diamonds. Pretty good. Pretty good. Do you not do you not buy like the normal characters, Bretland? Like the Gales and the Liams and the Joshes. Do you not buy those? I'm not gonna buy anything on your account, don't worry. But generally speaking, that's what I always buy them. I don't know if you saw my thing. I always buy the, the low tier characters. I also always buy like insignias, like the, the insignia down the bottom. Um no, no, I don't need to do that. It's just it I would recommend. It's just okay. Yeah, okay. Okay, jeez. Okay, it's just because when you're like, when you get to leveling characters up, um, I mean, you've got a decent amount of fodder, to be honest. It's not too bad. It's not too bad. Okay. Hats up. Looking good. Who are you focusing on your skills? You've max level lust, okay. You're kind of doing a bit of Artemis. You haven't touched him, which is good. I have just maxed mine, but he I wouldn't touch him early game. She's very worth maxing, although I think you've maybe got her best parts. Yeah, the, the basics not that big a deal. The ult's the big one. The burst damage increase. At the moment, how's it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's see what you got. The Watch Guard's disguise increases damage to airborne units. We're going to switch that out, though. We're going to go for this one. Getting crit damage has a 15% chance to ignore. Mm, actually, probably this one. We'll switch it this. Just because she, like, Siphon is really good. But she doesn't hit the same target too many times. She switches targets constantly. So this one's this is what I use on her shadows gaze. Um, I, just remember that Razak used to have this. This is all on my stream as well. So if you need to regear and stuff, let's have a look at your gear. Should we try and have a little look round? Okay. So you're looking at main stat mainly. You know, crit rate, crit rate, crit rate. No crit rate here. Let's have a little look. That's unfortunate. What about these? Any cheap crit rates? Hmm. You're not being too fortunate with the crit rate on left side gear. Oh, you've got one on your healer. We'll, we'll put this in our hands. Your healer does not need crit rate. We'll try and get the same set if we can. Just because... I know a lot of people don't go for sets early. But it can be very good to go for sets early. That's a shame. You don't have any other crit rate items. Crit rate is the most important thing to get. 100% crit rate is the most important. Because so you can just... You're guaranteeing yourself consistent damage at that point. Um, I'm actually going to give her this though. And we're going to upgrade this. 
Ah, it's, it's, it's not a great piece. That's the only problem. Right, let's not let's not do that. Let's not do that. Let's let's give her this instead. Maybe you've got a crit rate main stat. Hey, you've got you've got the ooh, juicy. Very juicy. What I do. It's all good, it's all good. Crit rate is the most important thing because crit rate is basically just gives them more damage. And if you've got 100 percent it's 100 percent of the time they got more damage, you know? Set bonus is nice. You have got so I'm just gonna basically make hats at your monster character. Right? Hatsa is gonna be your monster character. You don't need crit rate anymore. Okay, Hatsa is is pretty is pretty good. It's pretty good for your tier of account. She's got two gear sets. Can you get anything else on the last ones? I'm gonna fully upgrade this one because it isn't a bad this isn't actually a bad piece. You can get an extra bit of attack here. Hopefully it didn't cost you too much. Wait. Do you not have oh you do? It costs you 500k <laughs> to get 175 more attack. But it may seem like not much, but it's it's decent, it's decent. So now she's got plus she's got over 10k attack on your account. That's this is solid. And then she's getting an extra 18% single target damage when she targets somebody and she doesn't have to hit them a certain amount of times she's getting 50 percent extra damage on her crit hits which 100 percent of the time are going to happen so like all round she's basically got the same gear as me but maybe like five or, or six tiers lower right so i i personally played like this i went for 100 percent crit rate and went for sets first other people don't go for sets, but sets make a big difference. They they give you massive amplifiers. Um, the only other characters that we need to really gear are Dolores. Her gear doesn't really matter too much, but I have to pray you have a particular item here. Oh, you do. You have one. Great. This is almost re required for Dolores for what we're about to do. And in this character, we're going to give him some damage reduction. Um, I'm just going to un unequip all of his stuff here. Whoops. I'm just going to unequip all this stuff. Can I do it? Quick unequip. There we go. And we're going to go for... Guardian set. Have you actually got any good pieces of Guardian? That's not bad. Not bad. You haven't got much gold to play with though. So we won't go for crazy upgrades. Maybe we'll just go for grade eights. Okay, that's a decent piece. We'll, we'll, we'll equip that. We're mainly looking at the uh, damage reduction. I mean, that's not too bad. It's getting some attack for heals as well. You had it. Oh, it's flat attack, unfortunately. It's not that great. Um, okay, we'll go with this one. This is, a, this is actually a really nice piece. Hopefully, I'm not going to roll this, but this is a really nice piece to keep. Um, I'm gonna roll. I'm gonna roll just it to to four. Oh, it could be really good. It's just it's very expensive to roll high, so I'm not gonna do that. We'll keep it like this though, for the time being, and we'll have him. So now he's got a three-piece set where he takes 25% less damage, 15% uh, less damage from hits, and um, he's got loads of extra HP and defense and stuff. So now we can go for um, left side gear. It's going to be salvation or okay. We'll see. Maybe we'll get lucky. 
The best thing about left side gear, right, is you don't have to upgrade it that much. That That's it. That's all I need to do. Left side gear is the cheapest gear to upgrade because the main stat is bad. It's just pretty bad. Whereas the right side gear, you need to upgrade it quite a lot to get the main stat, you know, HP bonus 60% to be high. But if you get lucky where the first thing is like HP bonus, which is nice here, we get 21% HP bonus just from the first one. And then we also get two piece bonus of 25% HP. So his HP is just going to be scaling up really nicely here. Try and find another piece. Because like, you, you're limited on gold. I remember I remember the limited gold life. It was not fun. End game gold is not a problem. Okay, this isn't too bad. End game gold is not a problem. There we go. There we go. Sorted. So like none of his gear is maxed. But he's 100% he's going to be fine with this. He's going to be very, very tanky. 15,000 extra HP. I think for the last part of... Uh, like for the very last stage... Stage 21 of Gear A2, you need like plus, I think it's plus 28 or plus 32,000 if you have good defense. He's getting 140 speed, he's going to be healing himself fine. And that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. Now, we'll go into actual Gear Raids just to see. Oh my goodness, what is that noise? <laughs> what is that noise though? <laughs> what is that noise? <laughs> okay, let's see your Gear Raid team. Okay. Heavy healer based. Lots of healers. We're not going to use so many healers. Oh no, actually, early on we do need to use healers. I forget that um, it is a bit weird early game. Valeria. Does Valeria like her ult makes her. Is it only her ult makes her survive for ages? Can't remember. Like there, he's amazing for this. Um, I think he's a fighter. Yeah, Decimus. I think I think this is all you need. You've got actually way too many tanks here, so we don't need we don't need him. There's a nice cheap character here. Him. I think it's him. He costs nine. But actually, what we'll do is we'll try and find someone else. Oh, look at all those. Wait, I, I say look at all those Gogrins. Did, have, did you manage to get the other Gogrins from the event so far? Or are those the only ones you managed to get? Those three. Oh, did you, I guess you turned one into the Draegar already. I need to stare like, yeah, 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 yeah. This is true. This is true. Um, okay, we'll take her as well. Um, I think there's a cost reduction one. It's a bit RNG, like extra cost stuff. So we should probably use it on him as well. I think it's like for each time the cost is restored, there's a 5% chance of double the amount. So maybe, I'm not sure if it means when I sell them. I'm not really sure, to be honest. And I sell these char that character quite a lot. Um, two tanks. Two extra melees. No, wait. One extra melee. We'll see if she's good enough. Oh, yeah, you've got Draeger already. Nice. But they don't stand a chance. Um, where does she go? So funny, because I don't hear this stuff <laughs> when I normally play. It's great. Oh, it should be up here, won't she? Okay, we'll try. Um, let me just double check him. What was stats go up? No, another two thousand. We'll do quick. We'll do quick equip. You get a little bit more HP. He's the only one who really needs to be tanky. Let's check her as well, actually. Uh, Probably quick equip, but she probably just got all of um, Vortex's gear. So we don't we don't have to work too hard on these characters. Um, okay, 
We might be able to tank. I'm not sure. We'll, we'll, we'll try and tank first. We'll try and tank stuff first. I don't know if we'll be able to, though. Um, where is she? Where is she? Oh, wait. Uh, let me start. See how much damage she was doing, though, by the way. <laughs> she was actually absolutely destroying her first enemy. Holy moly, you actually ripping her apart. <laughs> that single target damage with the, the set modifier. Oh my god, it's like, yeah, get out of my face, mate. Get out of my face. I'm not even going to have to do the ult, I don't think. No, I'm not going to have to do the ult. That's mad. Oh, I'll have to do the ult maybe here. No. No, I didn't have to do the ult. That's crazy. That's crazy. We'll see if they survive. The little one on the front left could die. That doesn't matter too much. Mm. It doesn't look like we're going to play the tank game. <laughs> okay, so it just means we play a bit more burst, I guess. Really done anything yeah th these heroes like this guy he he literally just i'll, I'll show you because i'm about to use him next i think i can't remember how I, I did this with cygnus recently and valiant i can't remember how these earlier stages go sometimes okay there's no rollers i guess do you have vault Of course you've got Volker. I hope you've got Volker. <laughs> That's who he needs. That's who he needs. You don't have Volker. <laughs> Wait. You've not been doing your storyline missions. Wait. Did I just not see her? level uh, rarity you haven't leveled Volker at all <laughs> okay um, she's actually needed for this wait let me just check Is it Awakened 1, actually? It might be Awakened 1. See how you're tired going. What is awaken? What is her awaken one? What, what do you have to get to? I thought it was 105. It is. Where's your Volker crystal? Did I? Am I blind? Oh, she is already a one. Okay, thank goodness. 
Thank goodness. Man. <laughs> I was so I was so I was so baffled for a second there. Okay. She makes it so the cooldown of your characters like coming back to life is twenty five percent less, so it, it makes it really nice for against um this stage. I'm only putting in her because she's cheap. I don't think we can even get her for all. I only have her yesterday. Oh, it's all good. It's all good. It's all good. See, like, now the cooldown of these characters is, like, barely anything. 45 seconds. Whereas before, 60 seconds. That's a bit problematic, you know? I'm not sure if she gets attacked by doing this, but we'll see. I haven't actually used Dolores yet, crazy enough. bit of extra cost back. So what, what he does is like he dies and then he's just alive. You need to upgrade him a little bit to make sure he's alive for 8 seconds. I don't think you've done that. I could be wrong. you got to wait until he goes red. Now he won't do any more um, ults or anything like that. Yo, your 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 Olegs get wrecked, man. What the hell's going on? We need to re-get Oleg, maybe. He's getting like nearly one shot. <laughs> Which shouldn't be happening. Olag's a monster. <laughs> there we go, nice. Let's have a little look at Oleg. I, th I think I did hit auto gear, to be fair. Which, uh... <laughs> well... Uh, oh, is, he, is he only 5 star? Ah, I see. Yeah, it's tough. 
Wow, you decided to five star Fursi. Uh, six star Fursi even. Like I would I would six I would six star tanks and damage dealers first. Um and then healers and support characters lost. Just because the tanks and the damage dealers are either gonna have to do more damage or take more damage. That means stats generally speaking. Whereas healers can get away with it a little bit more. Their promotions can be quite important. Um like they might need to be promoted to like some of them need to be promoted to five, for instance. But uh damage dealers and tanks. Olag primarily. Like this this is good. She's really good to get maxed out. Definitely recommend her. I needed for a mission in the story quest. Ah, you just had to just pick someone. That's rough. This one's really, really good to max. Um Wrath's great. You did good getting him. She's good. Oh, you've got Valkyria. This is who I need for this new thing. Those metal wings make a lot of noise, love. <laughs> anyway. Um, yeah, these two good to max. Even Maul to a certain extent. I can't see anyone who's left side for you on uh, GR3, so he's pretty good. I wouldn't maybe prioritize him, but you don't really have an AoE mage. Let's look at your summons. I would be saving your summons, by the way, for, um, honestly, for an AoE mage. That's what I would do. I'll pick that up for you. Don't worry. I've got you. I've got your back. <laughs> I'll buy that as well. Oh, raise a beer, mate. Raise a beer. And for the summons, lovely. Um, <laughs> I'll do your free refreshes. Let's see what we get. Don't get anything tasty. Nothing on the first one. Um, I'll buy these because these are these are worth getting. Even if you're not buying them now, you've got so many diamonds. Those are worth to just stock up. Uh, and I will be buying these as well for you. Because, like, it, this much money for that much... Basically, effectively, like, the way you should look at it is... This isn't endurance, uh, insignia of endurance. This is how much energy you have to spend to get this, right? And this is maybe, like, three energy. Three energy for 5k is absolutely fine. It's fine. It's absolutely fine. I managed to clear GR4, 5 using your strat lockdown. Thank you. You're very welcome. I'm, I'm very happy that it worked for you. I do not have very good right side, so like maybe I should make a video on it because it's surely going to help a lot of people who don't have good right side. I always buy those. Good, good. Oh, sorry. I am doing the 5 diamond. I always do the 5 diamond reset because I think it's so cheap that it's, it's reasonable. Past that 10? Joking? <laughs> what do I look like? What do I look like? What do I look like? You're not you're not really in dupe territory just yet. I tend to not use diamonds in the shop. I I, I know <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I did just spend like 150 diamonds. I, I, I do apologize. Um, <laughs> like the only thing worth getting with diamonds is auto fights and and um, energy and um, summons those three things I would almost always get every single time I would 100% get them um, the, the, these insignias for diamonds massive ripoff massive ripoff like that's a third of a can and a third of a can um a third of a can gets you, what, 50 energy? So you can run a stage twice. You're definitely going to get more than five on two runs. You know, like, massive ripoff. Oh, my God, I remember these. I remember challenges. <laughs> it's been a while, but I remember challenges. <laughs> oh, goodness. Proof I'm slacking. I have over 7k energy. That's fine. 
that's fine. Generally, you don't. You, you should just what you should be doing daylight. Like, what you should try and be doing is do like if you take what I just said and 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 run with it. Like tearing up tanks and mainly damage dealers, but tanks. If you have a ranged damage dealer, and just progress through campaign. Campaign is the way to go. Um, as you can see, it looks like um, Bretland's completely maxed out everything up until stage nine when it gets crazy. Stage nine is crazy. All right, so he's done everything great. Um, there are some abyssal rifts on the way, but I don't think. Oh, the, I think I think this just unlocked. Is this this is only just unlocked? I think. Or or have you not? Done the spectral rifts and stuff. No, you've done this one. I think that stage just unlocked because I'm pretty sure that wasn't right. I would have liked to have pulled for Re uh, Reeve this weekend, but not enough summons. Yeah. The other banner is crazy, by the way. Hex. Hex, Zilla 2, and Razak, unfortunately. But it's on a 15 times 2 times. I'm 100% pulling everything I've got for that should hopefully be around about 250 summons i definitely want to get one of those characters hex would i think get me 50k in guild boss i think anyway where were we where were we we're gearing this guy right okay maybe i just give him some damage reduction gear again get sets damage reduction also, I'm not going to do it, right? But if you want to cleanse your gear really easily, make sure you select these three, right? This is called right side gear, and then this is left side gear. These two on the left are left side gear. Select these three, and then go to primary, and then go to HP, attack, and defense. And the reason you don't select the left side is because they have HP and attack and defense as their main stats, so you don't want to sell those. You only do it on the right side, and look, there's 142 pieces of gear here, which is right side gear, which will get you nearly a million, which is almost 100% not worth upgrading. Like, I've never found a piece that has flat rate stuff that's worth upgrading, really. And really, neither of you, because the majority of your stuff, you've, not, you've only upgraded one piece that's got flat attack here. Uh, or flat HP, even. Generally speaking, I'd sell that stuff. I'm not gonna do. I won't. I won't do any gear cleansing for you. I'll let, I'll leave that to you. A, it's a good learning process, but that that is 100% recommended. Okay, let's go for a defense bonus. HP secondary stat. Damn. Okay, well this will be okay. It's not too bad. I don't level flat anymore. Good, good, good. And that's an easy way to get rid of, like, that was 150 pieces of gear. Easy way to make space, you know. Uh, okay, let me try for some HP with defense. Oh, nice and early. We won't get a big bonus on the main stat, but it's not as costly to do this. So that's nice. So we'll get an extra 28% HP. I would I would upgrade these pieces of gear. This is actually not too bad a piece of gear. It look it doesn't look great, but I'll be honest, my tank gear guardian, and I've been playing for a long time, doesn't get very good. And defense and attack speed and an HP main stat is good for a tank. That's good. Um we might just steal hers. Save you upgrading another piece. Let me see if you've got um Oh, we've actually got a decent piece here. Although we don't really want too much defense main. HP mains, HP mains better on uh, on this guy because he he makes shields out of HP. So based on how much HP he has, he gets shields. Oh, that's quite low down. Maybe we've got one with defense on it. Okay. 
At least this is cheap to upgrade. Going to eight is generally very, very cheap. Okay. What about HP and defense? Is that too much to ask for? Apparently it's not. Oh, if this rolls good, even though it's gold, it could still be very good. That's that's absolutely fine. That's perfect. Now he's a tanky boy with 30k HP and five, uh, 4k defense. Okay. Even though, like, I have gold gear on my tank still because the the, the gold stuff seems to roll out good, out, like pretty good. Honestly, the gold stuff seems to roll pretty good. Uh, you also can't get ancients in um in guardian for some reason on mythic but you can get them in in gold and i think it's because they don't know what's good because look an ancient guardian piece should never have crit damage main stat like never <laughs> this just like makes no sense at all uh, we might actually give him this piece because it is it is objectively better okay we're gonna do that okay so you should be able to tank now. We've got Volker. Everything's good. Gonna start going. We'll be watching, but we'll have my hands full. All good. What are you, what are you having? Let me make me jealous. I'm kind of hungry myself. I need to eat something, but. Oh, we got rollers now. Why have we got rollers? What's the second one that comes out? Is it a roller? It is. I think we might have to upgrade that character, by the way. Like, we might have to upgrade uh, Decimus so that he lasts for eight seconds. It's called Sausage Pie, but not really a pie. Sausage and, like, I guess some sort of baked part. <laughs> sausage just sounds good to me, though. I haven't had sausage in a while, actually. Yeah, you can have a fit all you like, mate. Do is it me, or does this boss look ridiculous? Because... You can see his eyes. <laughs> like, all I can see are these eyes just like. <laughs> his eyes just look crazy. I guess they're not his eyes. I don't know. It must be that they're not his eyes because he just looks hilarious. Okay, they're doing rollers again. Doing double rollers. I probably didn't have to put a Zolde and the other guy down to be honest Bit close. 
I don't know if we're going to be able to do this. Like, I need to tank it like three times or something. We didn't use uh, Medan, so we're going to get rid of Medan for the next run. Like, sometimes you can do tank runs where you just like tank the damage, but your, your gear isn't there. That was very close. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> we're not going to talk about it. We're not going to talk about it. Like these ones are really easy because like there's only six, seventeen enemies. It's just about like getting those like cells and everything happening or like in good time. I think we should be alright. We should be good. Yeah, because because he he doesn't. I, I think Baron will be better for this because Baron will die, but he'll go into unyielding. Like Baron, Baron, Baron was a character I didn't get until really late, so the boss should start raging out. There we go. We can just sell Baron. Then the boss will be like, oh, okay, everything's better now. Now, hopefully, he takes better damage this time around. Okay, yeah, he, he gets half shot now rather than one shot, which is a little bit better. A little bit better. Because if I didn't do the whole, like, let him rage out and then put the other character in, he'd just be raging out on the team. Which is definitely problematic. So what was the problem there? I, I think it's the order I was putting him down in. These early stages, right? They do it so that it's like the last character you put down gets the damage taken, but in the later stages, it's the first character you put down. Okay. I think we'll just try it with the same team. We didn't put her down. We might need more damage, though. Um, I'll, I'll take Wrath. Wrath's just good because it increases the... Um, the damage, I think. Does he increase the damage? I'm not actually sure if he increases damage. I know he increases attack speed. Increases faction team members' basic attributes by 10%. So he increases her damage. But also, at the last boss, he, he can burn the last boss, which is nice. Which is nice indeed. We did take out a piece of his gear, so... Let's try and give him a nice piece of attack gear. Let's just got attack stat mean. That'll do. Just a bit of 69% crit rate. That's what we would like to see. Did I say 100% crit rate is the way to go? I was lying. Oh, wait, no, we, we might want to switch something out. Take Last of Wrath. Yeah, yeah. Wrath's just good because he's the Lord, so it'll give the boost to. Um, also worth knowing when you when you flee at fights you get refunded the energy. I think that's so good in this game. You don't you, you never lose energy from losing a fight, which is a fantastic. Okay, I need to max this if you don't mind. I, I think you should be okay. Like there's not many there's not many rare characters that are worth maxing. This one is. Um and it's because of this, it will increase the effect of him being in unyielding, where he's basically standing there not dying by an extra two seconds, which is actually pretty important. Defiance. We good if I max that? Oh, you've maxed her, great. Unless you have another one. No, you don't. Aatrox. You've got Aatrox. He's he's really good. He's really good, but he's kind of niche. I was saving for events. Haven't had him long. Oh, okay. Um, we'll try it without doing it then. Don't worry. Because you're, 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 it's hard to get points at your point, like point in the game. So, yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll see. It only gives us an extra two seconds. It's not really that crazy. I don't think there's many places in life that two seconds is, is, is great. <laughs> Trying to make a very 
a uh, terrible joke here, but yeah. Um, yeah, I'll do this. Oh, wait, wait. He costs 17. Why does he cost 17? I don't think he normally costs 17. Am I, am I wrong in that? Does he normally cost 17? I thought his... Maybe he normally does cost 17. That's mad. I always thought he cost barely anything. <laughs> like, if you need to level... No, it's all good. It's all good. It's all good. But it is definitely worth maxing his skills. 100%. You'll be using him at the last stage of this. He's very, very important for this. And getting him up to like uh, tier 4 maxed out or tier 5 maxed out is fine. You don't have to get into 6 star. Oh, I didn't need to do that really. But it doesn't matter too much. I don't really need to do that either, to be honest. He might be fine. Your queen shall return. Yeah. Yeah, it's the last tower. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, she is getting melted. One second. <laughs> she got absolutely destroyed. I, I, I actually remember that happened to the stage before. Okay. We'll probably do the same thing on her. And what basically what you can do now is like you've got two you've got tank sets now effectively on this guy you've got a tank set so like if you ever need to use a different tank you can just take his gear and then okay it to someone else you know that's what i do i never touch their gear after i've set it i upgrade it so like i'll look at their gear and i'll like i can upgrade this piece of gear with this and then his set is done. Like, I never take his... Because it, it's just easier to, like, manage it that way. Once you've actually got sets, you know? Until you get sets, it's not as big as a problem. Okay. Okay, we're going to do Guardian. Probably go for two just to get the main stuff a little bit. But two should be alright. Yeah. Fortunately there's a there's a gear actually I'm gonna go to twelve on this one. It didn't cost you anything. That's weird. Did it just not update? It might not have updated. But it, there's an event on right now. Okay, that costs you 50k. That's fine. This one's the one you definitely want to upgrade later on. So you're, you're going to be getting points for what I'm doing right here, which is it's definitely a good
it would just steal his. That way we don't have to cost you anything here. Ah, oh, we might we might be screwed actually. Ooh. Ah, oh, that's really expensive to upgrade. Is there maybe ones with just like flat defense? That's literally all you've got. <laughs> okay, we're just gonna go for the main stat being HP. It's not worth making the 16. And then we get the, the set bonus of plus 25% HP. This is this is why it's like it's generally better to go for set bonuses. Like you could theoretically have another piece, right? Let's see. You could theoretically have another piece of gear that has more than 25% HP. Right? Already rolled. But it's not likely. 25% is quite high. Even that is a good piece of gear. It's not got 25%. You got you got mythic on that 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 set. That's pretty funny. Any tips you gave? I didn't hear. I'm at scrapyard with my dad. Sounds fun. I remember seeing a video about people going to a scrapyard and they could whatever they could carry, like lift, they could get for twenty dollars or something. It was kind of hilarious. Okay. One, two, three, stop. <laughs> These rollers die just from hitting people twice. So like the first hit here will take them down to half HP. Or less than half HP. And then the second hit, you have to make sure they're running. We'll take them out. Later. And the reason this guy's so good is like he's reset already. I think he has like a 10 second reset time. That's why he's really good. Unyielding. So like when he gets killed, he's alive for eight seconds. And then he has a like massively reduced reset time. And it's even further reduced with Volker as well, which is great. Okay. I could I could have checked the artifacts actually. The artifacts don't look great, but it is what it is. Stop, I wanna sell. See, maybe Medan would actually be useful because we'd be able to heal a little bit better. But it is what it is. But her damage output is crazy high because of the set she's got. She's not even using Dolores attack buff right now. She is melting people. 
I'm like, like Dolores is going down for no reason right now, but we're just doing it for fun. <laughs> like she is doing it without Dolores, which is really good. You'd be better off actually putting down a second damage dealer. I might do that on the next stage. Look at that bug. You see the water there where it is. I think it's the heal from Vortex. It's a shame it's half decent except for the main stat. Okay. What was I saying that we needed to do? Not have Dolores. Instead. Have you got Razak? You do. I love this guy. This C is unforgiving. I've oh, got a set bonus here. I will we'll take it. Oh no, he's not got much crit rate. Uh, all attack speed. We'll, li we'll leave it as is. We'll give him this. Sharpshooter's Crest is really good for him. Because he does area damage. So does uh, Maul. Um, so that's good for them. I wanted to check these guys' artifacts. When the Harrison deployed. Okay, that's pretty good for her. She's getting wrecked a little bit. Just a little bit wrecked. And he does not need damage. He. Yeah, this is alright. Just a self heal. I've got. I recently maxed the Nightmare Serpent. Really, actually, kind of good. Very particular situations, but quite good still. One, two, stop. We're not even using her, like for her <laughs> cost stuff. I think we should. We might have to, because uh, we might have to restart this, because Razak is quite expensive to place. So we'll see. We shall see. to restart this I like Baron actually I think we'll, we'll use Baron as the main tank because I'm using her but she's just getting wrecked whereas Baron at least has unyielding so you will use her as a secondary which is fine
So I don't even need to put Razak in. She just does so much damage. The gear you have for her is really, really nice. So like, if you want anyone to do damage, just put her gear into their hands and they'll wreck. Stop. Um, what do we want to do? I'm going to slow it down. We'll start again. I won't put Razak down. I ran out of cost there. Man, this is like, <laughs> this is on the knife edge. I don't know if people are going to reset in time. We might be okay. Oh shit. <laughs> I 
loin était dedans. Now, strangely enough, the next one might be easier. It's half decent. That is not very good. But I don't think we'll be 19. He killed a tank just to die, yeah. The issue with 19 is this guy. Is actually your tanking. I think your damage is okay. Because the way 19 works is kind of interesting. You don't take any, like, damage over time anymore. If, look, if we place, uh, if we place that, look. There's no sandstorm anymore. So I don't take any damage anymore. Which is nice. But they're way tanky, as you can see. This is where Dolores might be required. No, you're still doing enough damage to beat to kill them. That is, that is mad. That just shows how good Hatsa is, man. She's only going to get better as you skill her up as well. Yeah, this is where it's the problem. He he will last long enough when he's maxed out in that situation. Uh, let's uh, let's get Dolores in now. If we beat nineteen, I am gonna go mad actually, because <laughs> nineteen is you're doing enough damage though. That's the crazy bit. That's the only reason I'm trying. But I'm pretty sure your your vortex is gonna get absolutely destroyed. There's a thing you can do, like, you, you make him walk a little bit further than he needs to. And you put the character down in front of him. And he turns around, and just the t time it takes him to move back, the extra second. You know, can count.
might have entered it up. Oh, we're okay. Okay. Will Vortex be able to, to tank it? That is the question. He's going to get rocks thrown at him. Oh, no. See, look, now, now it's doing um, the first place rather than the last place. <laughs> I, they, I hate it how they, they do that. I knew that. I knew it. I knew it. Well, I knew I wasn't imagining it. I love that later. It's like I knew that people would be selling her quite a lot. He, uh, I don't know. He has to tank four hits eventually. I don't know if he's going to be able to do it. The damage is absolutely fine. But now he's got to tank four hits from the, the throws. I don't think he can. <laughs> we'll find out, I guess. This could be a problem, actually. Yeah, I don't think we're going to have people come back in time. Yeah, no one else to place. It's a shame if that's literally the only thing that may you not be it. I think he's going to get wrecked by the four throws anyway, to be honest. Now they'll wreck her. You're not that far away, to be honest. You're not that far away. Just a little bit more gear. And six star vortex. As much as I said not healers, but he's he's tanking here. You can see what he's doing, he's tanking the throws. Yeah. What can you get from 18? It's just uh it's just guaran 18's guaranteed mythics. So you're always gonna get a mythic drop. And you can get ancients here. Could you get ancients before? No, you couldn't get ancients and I think you're at fourteen, right? So now you can get your guaranteed mythic and it can be ancient. 
And a couple of these sets are good. Like, Night Terror is actually pretty decent if you can get some decent pieces. Cursed, I use a lot. Um, Guardian's good for defenders. Um, the, the ones that aren't good, Fatality is not that great at all. Um, it's like okay ish. Unless you're dealing with really like particular enemies. Glacier is only good on very particular characters. Like if you get a really good set of Glacier, it's good on um, Abomination. Not great, but good. And then Sticks is okay. AoE damage is okay. But like the later gear sets are like way better than some of these. Like Sticks gets out scaled by other pieces. But that's pretty nice. I'm not going to do anything else for you because I'll be basically taking away your game. And, it, and progression is always fun. I'll maybe build your team for you. How about that? Uh, oh, wait. Oh, this is where it's got left and right side. You've got Maul. Maul and these guys. Uh, maybe use Valkyra instead of him. Valkyra does really good damage. Hatsa to Zira. Put Dolores in. So we've got, wait, right side, left side, front right, front left. And then these two can deal with everyone else in the middle front. Lots of heals. I think you need two healers for this, right? I struggle with anti-air team. Um, I guess you didn't get the Lord. That can make a big difference. Yeah, you don't have the Lord. The Piercer, and there's no, there's no uh, rare Piercer Lord. The Piercer Lord is honestly almost required to do this to a, a, a like a good extent. I don't think she's required yet, but later in in later stages she is. But there, there's your team, and I'll, I'll place them for you, like so you can see how to do it, and then I'll let you just do it and progress. Because, I, like I said, I don't want to take away your gameplay too much. Uh, so you put down this guy on the right side, right. And you put have this guy on the left side. They, they will clean their sides for you. And then front right can be her. Front left can be him. Oh, you've got Artemis here. I didn't see him. Um, you could put Artemis here behind Razak to heal across. Same with this one. You can either put him here. Probably better here. And you put her, her here. Okay. And then you have like the back here and the back here. You have a uh, Brienne and like that because I, if I remember right, they big groups come in. But I can I'll do it, but I'll quit before I three star. I'm not gonna. I just don't want to take away your gameplay. Honestly, this is just like GR two is annoying as hell. So I'm 100 percent of fine doing that for you. <laughs> but but this one is like this isn't annoying. It's just. It's just learning how it works and stuff. You know? Uh, so what we'll do is we'll buff. We'll buff right side. And... It looks like the left side damage is worse. So we'll put your bear damage dealer here. Uh, we might put Hatsa at the front, honestly, because Hatsa was just wrecking. Okay. I did right side more. It doesn't make too much difference, to be honest. Yeah, I think, I think we'll put... I think we'll put hats at front left. Yeah. 
That's the front left. Uh, front right. Let's see what Hatsa's damage is like here. Seven Ks on the right. Oh, look at that! Like double the damage almost. Her set is just so good. So good. What I do is actually buff Hatsa. Don't know why she's why isn't she attacking? And Hats is dealing with the bigger mobs as they come in as well, which is good. Oh, I can't deploy anyone else. I don't know why. Probably should have done this shit. You can just pop everything after that. Okay, so you saw how it's done, right? <laughs> uh, I don't mind you three star yet. Okay, okay. But okay, you don't. You saw how this one was done. That's how you do the next one. <laughs> That's not too bad. Oh, damn, the main stat. It's unfortunate. <laughs> now, what you can do is where you can, like, sell. Um, I, I, I maybe try and put slightly better gear on her. Yeah, you've got AoE. Like, this set. Like, the sets you get off of that other one. Let me just Let me just look at the calendar a sec. We have got Forgotten Palace coming this Friday, which is, this is the gear rate that we just did, gear rate three. Vault in the Sands just ended, oh yeah, right. And then the Lost Legacies, gear rate one. Let's, uh, let's check that. Okay. I'll switch your I'll switch your team in again. Wait, what what is it? Oh man. Did you see my did you see my Artemis versus Gear Raid 1 video? Now my gear on Artemis was really, really, really good. But let's just switch out some of these characters. Like the 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 laurel cheese is is real. Is real, and what we can do is because Artemis is now your best damage dealer. We just remember what I said. Like you just switch into his hands the gear from Hat Set because you created this set, it's set in stone. It's good, and that's that. Um, 
We can do the thing. I guess you were doing the thing like behind the wall. You were attacking from behind the wall. We can do that with these two. Do, do you have a cultist lord? That would be handy. Cultist. You do. It will just give a little bit extra attack. I don't think it's anything crazy. 5%. We can't place two of these characters anyway. Um, so this is fine. I want to put him over here so he gets the buff. Like if you get to gear eight, complete a gear, eight, a gear eight 18 on all of these, I think you're really set. Man, this is harder than I remember it being. <laughs> Honestly. They're gonna get through. The boss is is damn tanky, man. Oh no, maybe they won't. That was that was not clean <laughs> by any stretch. I thought it'd be cleaner. Hey, there we go. It's not too bad. It's no crit, but it is what it is. Where do you need to get to again? 18. Should we try and get you one more stage? I, I think this is, it, Gear Raid 1 is the hardest one, I think. Because that one requires gear. Gear Raid 1 is about characters and gear. Gear Raid 2 is about specific characters, but you've got them, right? And most people can get them. And Gear Raid 3 is about specific characters, having a lord, you know, that sort of thing helps. Um, I'm just going to look at your guild boss. Let me, uh, did we just get an achievement? Oh. Oh, we got one of three for clear 80, stage 18 of all three raids. Nice. Nice, nice. Okay. Have you done your gear, 
get your attacks today. Okay, nice. 3.1. Okay. Do you hit, do you do that on auto fight? Or do you do that manually? Wait, did that take you two attacks to do? So you've still got an attack somewhere. Or did you hit here? Ah, okay, you hit here. Okay. Another one, another one. We can play test. I won't, I won't do a play test unless Bretland says he does it on auto. I hit two and three. Okay. But can, do you normally hit auto and it's fine? The reason I say this is because I will change your team in here. But if you hit auto, it doesn't, it, it doesn't do anything. It's fine. Let's see what other characters we've got. I usually do auto. Okay. Let's try and mess around with them. Change what you want. Cool, 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 cool. Let's see who your healers are. Okay. And what you can do is you can also use an assist unit to try and like get a good score. But just realize that damage dealers, for whatever reason, aren't good. If you take them as an assist unit, they're not very good. And I think it's because maybe they don't have this, their gear or something. But if you take a, um, a healer, let's see if we can get like a particular healer that's quite interesting. We're looking for like Elowin. Or hmm. we're not getting lucky. It depends on who your friends are as well. <laughs> Some people have better friends than others. <laughs> oh my god. Sounds terrible, but I don't think you've got enough healing as it stands. I don't want to use a... She's good because she also has... like a boost. I thought she had... um. The twenty five hours on the hill. I thought she had when on the field increases attack speed for all deployed heroes by thirty. Triggers minion and cast an ultimate change healing. I I thought she had something that gave damage buff. Apparently not. Let me look at your healers. We might have to use um, Vortex. I think she's the one that just shields, right? She does loads of shields. Okay, that's actually nice. We'll use that. Uh, by that, I mean her. I massively destroyed her gear because she had all the nice tank gear quick equip should be okay for her though because it just gives her attack and hp which is probably what she needs like she attack based healing yeah yeah that's fine okay what was that when entering the field increases healing effect by 10 okay see this one here 
You want to try and like, do artifact raid. Keep this one if you get it. You want to make the one that you've got right now, tier 2 or tier 3, probably tier 2 at least. But then you will probably want two more of these tumultuous horns, like just sitting there tier 1. And it's because when you do like a, what we're about to do, which is like a rotation, um, it's a good way of getting a boost. We don't need Artemis. Yeah, so was I. Um... We'll give her the good set. Actually, no, we won't. We'll give her the good set. She'll, she's the damage dealer now. <laughs> she's the captain now. <laughs> so she needs the damage set. All right? She needs to do the damage set. She has some random set now. I'm just going to do quick equip. It's as good as it can be, apparently. Um, okay. Volker would be good. Yeah, Volker makes it so that when I do the switching, it is a uh, playtest mode doesn't. Ruin. Yeah, okay. Okay, I'm gonna quit instantly. Just one sec, because um, just wanna test something. Most games mess up with assisting characters never using the person's gear. I think it's just that they don't want them being as powerful. Uh, what am I doing? I've got demon soldiers to level up. Spiders! My favourite. Love spiders. I love spiders, me. Have you, what gold one have you got? I've got the big... This is the tank I was using today. He's, he's a big boy. He's, he's a big boy. Um, what, what, what did I want to check? We've got abomination gear. Just wanted to check what our gear was all right. Um, I think there was something else I wanted to check. Okay, see this one? You want to max out to tier four. I'd say two of these as like a focus. It's very cheap to do that as well. Because it gives 16% extra attack when you do that. And they're cheap to do. So I'm, I'm going to get you started on the first one. Because you see that like, it doesn't cost anything to upgrade this. Versus like a, a mythic costs a lot. So I went from 8% up to 12% attack. Right, just, just tier 1. So instant, I'm oh sorry, to 10% attack. And then the next one is 12%. And then it then it's 14 and 16. And then the difference between tier 4 and tier, tier 5 is uh, no attack boost. But they have to be, they only have to be right next to you. Uh, they, they don't have to be right next to you. You can be two away from them rather than right next to you, sorry. So right now it says when there is an ally within one tile. That's fine for guild boss. That's fine for guild boss. Oh yeah, what was, I was going to change was. It, when you do gear raid 2... You have to put this horn back on her. But for this, we want to give her one of these tumultuous things. Because she she gives an attack buff to other people. And the better her attack is, the better the buff is that she gives. So this gives her an, an extra 8% attack. Um, and then that obviously means that her attack buff is slightly better. And she is definitely worth using Awakening Stones on. I don't know who you've got Awakening. Uh, you've only got two, so I, I, I guess, yeah. But she, she's good to use Awakening Stones on. She's really good. Like, when you get to a point in gear A3, like, 19, she's required to be get, uh, to be um, 5, basically. I mean, maybe not required, but it's very, 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 very important to have her 5. Uh, we'll, we'll just test it out. Yep, yeah, we know. We'll just test this out. Okay. Put Valeria here. Put him here. Actually, wait. How many melees have you got? Four. You've got four. What 
what are, what is this person's healing like? Oh, okay. And what about this person? Okay, so the healer will place here. Okay. Hmm. So we place it here. We want to hacks it to oh as much as possible. Oh, okay. We're gonna just switch things up a little bit. Let me just let me just see where I can put hats up here. Yeah, I can put her back here. Okay. This is fine. Let's restart this. Just I've never used these healers before, so that I'm just trying to get used to which the shape of their heal, you know. Yeah, this is fine. Oh no, it's not. Wait. So when you get um Volka leveled you can put her in this team as well because you'll see what i'm about to do she's going to be required for this there we go now now first he's healing everybody that's good I think Hans needs to be closer to the front as her rush doesn't reach. True, true, true. Ah, damn, where do I put her then? You're right. I always forget about her so rush. Or ulti, maybe. Oh, I can put her here? Or him here? Oh, that's fine. Okay. The reason I'm trying to figure it out is because I basically I want to have this person adjacent to as many people as possible when I put her down. Because um, when I sell her, it gives rage to people like this. So you just got to have like the people in the right place. That's all. And some pl characters have limited um, limited healing, so they either like got to be healed. This is actually works out kind of perfect though. Oh no, wait. Do we still run into the same issue? <laughs> we do. Oh my goodness. So, like, it, has, it has to be right at the front. Um, like right on that edge. This is why Hatsa isn't in Guild Boss teams. She's good for you because you six starred her. We want her ulting as much as possible. Maybe it'll be okay. Maybe it'll be okay. We just won't give Valeria an ult. Nice all. We will, we'll just wait with this, actually. We'll see how much damage they take. Percy's healing is okay or not. Because if we can wait before we sell... Oh, 
we'll see. Okay. What is that? Oh, actually, did Hills all allies in range one time with the uh, hundred swings and healing off her. Oh damn, that's how her ult works. Does she heal more than one person? I, I keep saying she, but I, I don't know. First, he's like not doing anything here. Hmm. At this point, he's like put down Volker just to get some extra damage, but also she has a uh, defense down that she was, she's going to get killed. That's not good, is it? What do you normally score? I can see after this. The shields are the things that are the most important things to break. Like, the shields give you so many points, generally speaking, especially when you're not hitting massive score. Not having half your team die is not ideal, though. <laughs> this is a new best. Yes, this team is all about Valeria. You've got a character I want a lot, just by it so you know. I'm a kind of little jealous. A kind of a little jealous. So, uh, so Valeria should die here, I think. Yeah, but that's fine, that's fine.
You see Valeria did 12 and a half million damage. But it's, it's the gear. The gear is really good. But Valeria is five star. She's out damaging Lust and Wrath. The gear is good. But it's her kit. If you saw what I was doing. I can show you. I can show you with just her. Like, I didn't do her ult at any other time except when the shield came up, but it's mainly so that she doesn't die, right? It's mainly so she doesn't die. Oh, uh, well, we didn't do that one. I mean, yeah, we will. It doesn't matter. So, like, if you read her ult, it says damage. She gets a massive damage buff. Each attack consumes 10% of her current HP and generates one stack of power of the sword up to eight stacks. The hero cannot be healed during this skill. When the skill ends, deal 440... Uh, percent burst damage to the main target and four targets around them but what's really good is um if the character enemy has defense down and stuff like actually i don't know have you got do you have a i didn't check if you had this character he's really good for guild boss i think you do have him as well i think i saw him but i just didn't really pay attention damn i didn't <laughs> I thought you had him. Um, he's a... Uh, what's his name? He's the Lord... The Epic Lord for Infernals. Can't remember his name. Anyway, we'll just go back to her. So when the ult's up, she can't be healed, right? But the lower her, the lower her health, the more damage she does on parts of her other... rest of her kit. Right? So her getting damaged doesn't matter. She's going to get healed while she's not ulting. Right? It's fine. But what you want to pop her ult just as she's low HP. And I think the first one is at like 410 on the top left hand corner. 410 then it's 245 and then 130. So like the, the fireballs are just about to come down. And as the fireballs hit I'm going to pop the ult so she's taken damage. Right, the next one. All right, is that it? That might be it. So the problem is she's not already low that low HP, whereas you can kind of manipulate this so she's already lower HP. But you can see how much damage she's doing per hit. She's doing like 10k damage per hit right now, and it just stacks up massively. This is just her. You see, and then she's gonna do a big hit at the end. Like she's four eight hundred and forty nine k. Did you see it? Right, eight hundred and forty nine k. She nearly hit for a million damage. And this is her at grade four. Uh, grade five, sorry. She's really good for Guild Boss. Like, she's a top, top tier Guild Boss character. Especially with Lust. She's really good because she gets her rage. But now she's un outside of her ult. She can be healed when she takes damage. So, like, we'll take damage here. But we're healing up. What I'll do is I'll sell this healer because she's getting overhealed right now. She's getting too much healing. <laughs> and you just want to pop her ult just before the shield's about to go. So the next one goes after this meteor impact. So we'll use this to our advantage and already be low HP. Hopefully. A little bit. We'll pop Dolores as well. Uh, she might not be able to do it by herself this time. Oh, she might be able to. See, like, better attack speed is good. She will break the shield, but she'll probably have to use that massive hit. Yeah, yeah. So, like, you didn't use it to your advantage for the main damage. Like, Valeria can do it all by herself. Like, th this is gear raid 3. And Nightmare 3, I think. I think it was Nightmare 3. So just by herself. You can see the kind of like score she can get by herself. Okay, I'll pop her now. Okay. 
She should do like really high damage now because she's lower HP. Also, her big burst will come in soon. I'm not sure if it'll be enough. Will it be enough? Nah, nah. So her by herself. I'm guessing she did a reasonable amount of damage, but... Uh, no, we don't want to save that. So like just there, 5 million, it's not too bad. But if we would have broken through the shield, she would have had a minute of half of that damage and stuff. And obviously, the more people that are hitting, the more quicker the shield goes down and the more that damage just hits the boss rather than breaks the shield. Yeah, she's really good for guild boss. I don't know if you've got any other top tier guild boss characters, really. He's actually really good for guild boss. Um, let me just... I, di I didn't see the score that you got before. I don't think he got very high. He would get higher. Because he has bleed. If you if you max out his skills. Maybe you've already have. You just want to be careful with his, his ult as well, because he can he kills himself with his own ult. But he's pretty good. I used him for ages. As a bleeder. He doesn't need to be grade five to bleed either. Bleeds based on the enemy's HP, not based on his damage at least it used to be i'm not sure they might have changed it to be honest true damage equal to one percent of the target's max hp so he's pretty good so he can just continuously do damage and it stacks up to three times so he'll be good in there um And he's also reasonably decent for one of the Immortal Codexes, so it's not too bad to level him. Yeah, I can't really see anyone else who's like some interesting pick. If we go to... Oh no, it's Nightmare 2 that I did that on, I guess. But if we go to the world r rankings... Oh no, we'll just do it to Nightmare 4. Basically, if you see your characters here, then they could be useful. Most of the time, it's just the supports. Last is here, though. And you've got Lost. People would have dropped Wrath. They're using Torridor instead. The Valeria here. Let me see if there's a Valeria team higher. I think she's the earliest Valeria. But a lot, not like basically the way it went was like Nightmare was good, like really, really good, and then Nightmare fell off, and then Last is sort of brought Nightmare back again a bit. Where was that Valeria team? Okay, she's got a hundred million in this team. It's not too bad. Silas is still the boss though, but yeah. Valeria, Valeria is great. I, I really want her. She's meant to be like a common character, I've heard. She's meant to be common. About that one. About that. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know so much about that. Oh, look at him go. What's your AMR? 16. Yeah. I'll give you a recommendation for this when, you, when you're thinking about gear. To complete AMR, what I did, I used, um, I didn't use attacking gear on the left side. I used attack gear on the right, and then on the left side, she was my second Lego. Yeah, she's meant to be really common. I, I, obviously, I've not got her, but it is what it is. And what I used on the left side was life force, but life force that had HP bonus attack bonus and crit rate and i basically got everyone's attack uh, crit rate to 100 percent 
and then got them as much HP out of this side as possible because they get 25% for the set. They get 20, 20% maybe plus, 15% plus for the actual like roll. And then getting as much attack and crit as possible because they need to withstand a lot of damage from the boss hit. That could be good. Also, now you've got Artemis. Artemis is quite good on the on the plinth. Let me just check your ammo. Yeah, this like that that one character that can stand on the thing. That being Artemis is really good. See how see how it's like changes the zoom. And then if you go back to like uh, 12, it's like completely different angle, but the same map. <laughs> it's funny stuff, isn't it? Uh, okay, okay. I'm going to wrap it up here. I'm going to wrap it up here. <laughs> I'm actually going to just end my stream on your account, but I'll log out the second my stream ends, okay? How long have I been streaming for? Jesus. Six hours. That's what I mean, man. When it's content to play, six hour stream, guys. Mad on the dot as well six hours and 20 seconds yeah i'm gonna get something to eat fill in the hungers um if you have any questions right then just hit me up on discord man part time i know right i know i know it's all about the game it's all about the gameplay you know i mean i haven't i haven't streamed rts for a little while but there ain't much to stream guys there's not much in the game to do it's pretty empty you know what i'm saying you know what I'm saying? Anyway, thanks for tuning in, guys. If you didn't see the first half, I did go over the new gear raids uh, or gear dungeon. I managed to get to complete stage five, three star. It was it was tough, but I think it's going to be a little time before I can do stage six. I need very particular characters on that right-hand side. I, I I need a melee damage dealer like Valkyra or something. Um, and and uh, Weird Girl, if you want me to do what I just did with Bretland's account on any particular thing on your account, hit me up on Discord. Anytime, no problem. But yeah, thanks for tuning in, guys. Take care, and as always, well, sort of as always, but yeah, I'll see you in the next video, guys. Take care.